Welcome, 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 everybody, to the board and barrel. Uh, my name oh, wait, is Kyle. This McCarley. is the board and barrel. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's us! Woo! Am yeah, I, we're am here. Am I on the wrong show? <laughs> yeah, we we stepped into the wrong studio, Eric. Uh, we we're supposed to be in Studio Seven, I think. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Learn Go to on, play. get out of here. Stay tuned Leave. for the new episodes of Learn to Play with Dustin and Eric. Oh wow, that's <laughs> premiering a in 2007. Nobody <laughs> watching is gonna get. Yeah. Uh. So. Uh oh. Kaylee's frozen. What happened to Kaylee? Nope, okay, it fixed no, itself. No, she's fine. It fixed she's itself. Fine. It's, 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 it's she was just eating a donut. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forgot to mention that. Sorry. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Kyle McCarley. If you're watching this channel, you probably know me. Over at the left side of the bar, well, your left side of the bar, uh, my co hosts are lined up Eric Reichert. Hi everybody! Woo! I'm always here. I I am drinking tonight a a Stiegel Rattler because it's one of my favorites. Nice. I'm drinking. And I went as... all the way to bed. Wait, were we supposed to have drinks? If you, you want. Didn't have to. Did Kyle not tell you that? Where's my you Where's my to. beer? Kyle. <laughs> just kidding. I'm I'm always That's drinking okay. the same thing on this show. This Ace Pineapple Cider. I have water. Cider. Hydrate. That's Don't great. To hydrate. That's what most, I also have water. most of the guests drink water. Uh, okay, but I have whiskey too. Like <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm drinking. So <laughs> uh, to Eric's to Eric's left, your right, there is another Eric, the Eric. Whoa! <laughs> another wild Eric appears. <laughs> the Eric, as opposed uh, to just Eric. Mostly yeah. Eric. Yeah, I'm mostly wow. he's, making a he's statement the... that way. Yeah, it's well, never confusing at all. I grew up in Kansas, and I was the only Eric for about 500 square ah. miles for most of the time period. And then we all moved to. Los to be Angeles. fair, he was the only person for about 500 miles. <laughs> no. It is such a pleasure to meet you, the Eric from Kansas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Next to the Eric, we have well, Dustin Hendrickson. It, <laughs> it's like Q U E. Hello! <laughs> Dustin, <laughs> and, we have met. And we have, that's right, back in the before times. Yes. When there were, in the when there were board games happening. When there were board, board games. Board games! Yeah. Board games! Board games! <laughs> I love board games! We're happening in the same place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, someday. Someday soon, Good hopefully. Times. You remember yes. when we used to do the show in person in Eric's garage and it went just as well? Yeah, we sure yeah. do. Yeah. I have only played in the magical Kyle's abode. Oh yes, yes. Uh, uh, so and then we have two wonderful guests with us this week. Faye Mata. Woo! That's Woo! me. That's you. Wow! And you're very sparkly. Uh, thanks. It's a filter. I'm half VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Just half. And uh, on your mother's side or father's? <laughs> Well, they're both half, so kind of like it makes one oh, full oh, half. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> You're a long lineage of like, right. half too. <laughs> Correct. And then, uh, and, and Kaylee Mills. Hi. Woo, Kaylee! Who has, she has donuts, donuts on her head. Flying around her head. <laughs> Can I just. Well, this way. Yeah. It's, one of the... it's funny, and you keep them on the entire show. <laughs> We're gonna nice. be good because you're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, they can't hear Kaylee. What do you mean they can't oh, hear Kaylee? What? I hear Kaylee. <laughs> yeah. Kaylee, Great. Now, it, now it just seems like I yelled at her. <laughs> right? <laughs> Kaylee seems to be mute. <laughs> Kaylee, oh, you no. asshole. <laughs> But clip the that. jokes Somebody were so that. good. <laughs> Somebody clip Eric huh. yelling at Kaylee. Right? <laughs> wow. No Kaylee just reason. really told Eric <laughs> off. Like, Let's someone clip that. Reloading yeah. her into the scene wow. fixes things. <laughs> so I didn't know that you guys made this game. 
No, we did that is no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. We, we didn't, didn't make this, this game. I didn't know that you guys didn't make this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I thought you made this game for a little bit. No. Okay. No. Uh, although, funny story. Uh, uh -huh. not not funny. Not funny at all. But <laughs> tangentially related, anyway. <laughs> Sly Cooper. Anyway, so, so here's a really reason. depressing story. Yeah. Anyway, so here's just a story. It's just a thing. It's just a fun fact. More uh, of an anecdote. Yeah. Okay. This this game that we are about to play was designed by Duncan of the Yogs cast, uh, which they're they're pretty famous um, YouTube podcaster peoples, and and uh, they have been playing a whole lot of a game that Dustin made. Lately. Yeah. Let's go, Dustin. Yeah. yeah. Which we're not playing. So right. we're gonna play the game that they've now made. Yeah. So it's just a big I circle love that. and it like gets a donut. The like a donut. Yeah. Exactly. And then we become millionaires. Right? I think I played yeah. a game that I you did. You right. make it or did Kyle make it? It was like a, a thing that you were working on at your house. It I'm not gonna say what it was. Well, we probably played it on this just show. Just in case. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, did it have cavemen in it? Did it have cavemen or it had ships? powers? We, pr I, oh, we probably oh no! It was the, it was like RPS. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah loading. So, the, well, the, it was that loading. one, but there was another one too. There was another that one. you had. Uh, mm. It was like you gave weapons to. Was it weapons? No, it was uh, it was, it was wow. a pretty simple. Oh, one. oh, that was that was mine. That was Gladi Aliens. Yeah, that was yes. cute. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I like. Anyway, they're brilliant. That, they're really thank great you. at making games, <laughs> and I'm so excited to play another one. Yeah. You might have played the one I made. It's called Monopoly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa! You're <laughs> the Mr. Monopoly? <laughs> yeah. It is an I, honor, sir. I'm the Eric Milton Bradley. Sorry, that's my full name, so. Monopoly from Kansas. Monomonop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit. We are playing a game tonight that, that's uh, very, very simple. We are going to show you a little how to play video that Dustin put together for us. Uh, just to just to teach y'all how this game is played. Super, super simple. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes, so stick around. Here's how to play Banana Katana. Banana Katana is a zany party game where a team of inventors will be coming up with crazy contraptions to defeat another player's monster. This is for three to six players and takes about 20 to 40 minutes to play. The base power sources, weapons, malfunctions, and monster decks, and set them in an area that all players have access to. Choose a player to be the monster. They will draw two monster cards from the monster deck, picking one and discarding the other. Each of the remaining players are inventors, and they each draw three base, three power sources, and three weapon cards. Each inventor will construct an invention out of one base, one power source, and one weapon card. Starting on the left of the current monster player, each inventor will reveal their invention and draw one malfunction card to add to it. They must then describe to the monster player how their invention would be used to defeat them. After all inventors have presented their inventions, the monster player will decide which one would most likely succeed. The winning inventor is given the monster card, and all other cards are discarded. The player to the left of the monster player is now the new monster, and all inventors draw three of each invention card type again. Once an inventor has gained three monster cards, they emerge victorious and earn the Employee of the Month title at the board and barrel. And that, my inventive friends, was how to play Banana Katana. <laughs> Alright! That is... A new record for us, Dustin. You set a new record for the shortest <laughs> how-to video we've ever had. What's the runtime on that? Do what I can. It's like a minute and 40 seconds. That's that's hot. Yeah. That's quicker than their, that's way quicker than their run to, run through. I just ate a mint, well, it's so my they're breath smells good. It's not a race. You're yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> it's not a race. Your, your breath Which smells is... good? <laughs> Yeah. Good. I'm so glad. You know, respectfully. I, I <laughs> appreciate next to you guys. That. You know, we're so close to yeah. each other. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Mine I mean, smells the... like hot cheese. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm closer to Dustin right now. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the bar. I'll make sure so to I'm breathe okay. in your direction. Don't worry. <laughs> uh,
cool. All right. So super, just super doing safe, so, pra safe pra social distancing here. So. <laughs> Eric, you just reached into my neck to grab that. So. <laughs> that's where I always you. keep. That's where I keep my extra masks in your neck flaps. Oh, I, I forgot about those. <laughs> Dustin has a breathing apparatus in his neck like a fish. So wow! You can, but you can store masks in there. That's a good. Pouch. That's impressive. And put grocery, extra there grocery bags. <laughs> you can put your Whoa. weed in there. <laughs> so it's it's a super simple game. But does anybody have any questions before we kick yes. things off? Good job making the video. Thank you. Yeah, nicely done, Dustin. <laughs> um, so. I asked this off stream, but I'll ask it here. Do the do, do the people who made this think that it's pronounced ka katana? They do <laughs> not. They just, oh, it's no. banana katana. Yeah, banana oh, is katana. They're English. So they they're don't know English. how to pronounce banana. So it's yeah. because yeah. we think we, it's pronounced banana. We pronounce banana wrong. <laughs> Look how selfish <laughs> we are as a culture. I don't think so. <laughs> We're like, how do they think it's pronounced katana? Up until right now, I thought it was Batman katana, so I don't even know. <laughs> Kitsune so Gamer 17 just gifted with. five subscriptions to the channel. I just want to give oh. a shout out. Thank you so much, Kitsune Thank Gamer. You. That's awesome. Thank That's you. awesome. And welcome to Hacker Clan. Does Hacker 1234 be bored? Fluffy Shinigami. Take, Let's go! Take. What is. Take, Thanks take, for all take, the subs! Take. And enigmatic mad. Yeah. Wow, I, I'm real bad. Hey at that. guys, have you considered using your Twitch Prime on Kyle McCarley's channel? Ooh. Or you could use it on Faye's channel. Or you could <laughs> use it on Banana Katana Banana on Kyle Banana McCarley's Katana. channel. <laughs> Banana Katana. Mine usually gets all tied up in in Eric's channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I get yeah. an extra Mad Cats controller for being yeah. subscribed yeah, to Eric. So. Subs. Hey, I'm hoping channel. if Mad I get Cats enough, <laughs> any primers I'm hoping if chat? I get enough years in a row, I'll get an actual <laughs> Nintendo controller. I'm, I don't no. yeah. think so, but I'm Fingers holding out. Yeah. No. What? Because he's got that. Because <laughs> uh, mostly Eric, Eric Reichert, has his own Twitch channel and the, the subscriber icons. The whole the whole gimmick is that when you're a subscriber, you get to choose any one of the Mad Cats con or not the Mad Cats controller, any one of the controllers. I love that Kyle's explaining your right? bit. Isn't that the thing? <laughs> it's wrong. I'm butchering. It's a good bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's great. Eric, can you? No, sometimes it's better when happening? someone else. No, he's a guy. Describes he's got someone he's else's got bit. I got, a, I got a lot of Mad Cats controllers lying around. I don't mind if people mess with them, but I only got one, I only got the one Nintendo controller, so so oh, that okay. one's for me. Okay, that's the special one. Got it. Wait, so do you like break them? <laughs> what you... No, I, they, well the the good Nintendo controller was cursed by uh, Vincent Price. He put his devil magic on it, so only oh. I can touch it. Whoa. <laughs> It's a whole thing. <laughs> that's like, we'll, crazy. we'll get into that there was a, next time yeah. you show up. It's it makes big... perfect sense. I don't think there's any context that's needed for that. No, game. not at all. <laughs> None no. whatsoever. No, all you had to say was devil magic. And hey, so um, far, I, I gotta give a, this is a really belated shout out, but welcome to Hacker Clan, Faye and Kaylee, because Funky Fly Guy just gifted you both subscriptions to the channel oh. as well. Woo! Oh. Thank well, you! That? That's so nice of you. I appreciate that. Uh, shall we Because play I can tune into Kyle McCarley's channel every... Every... <laughs> Friday, every... Friday Saturday. and Saturday. Fridays and Saturdays, for sure. <laughs> Thursdays sometimes, too. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna... We're gonna play this game. Um, who should, uh, who should we start out being the monster? You. Mm, I'll oh. do it. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Yeah, you're over on the left side. We'll go left to right across the bottom of the screen. So... Okay. Uh, so mostly Eric is gonna draw two of those monster cards. Okay, pick which one to use the banana? Which one to use the katana? Pick, <laughs> pick one and discard the other. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, are we are we actually playing? Yes. Why? Before. Oh. Okay. Before we we finish starting this game off. Do you want to tell the folks at home? You know what? About the home game. I yeah. sure do. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. You can play along with us, folks. Uh, so yeah, this this is a very interactive show. When I remember I... to set it up, uh, <laughs> we're all playing right now. Over on the left side of the screen, there is a meter, and at the top of it, it says buff. At the bottom of it, it says nerf. And underneath hmm. that meter is a 20-minute timer starting right now. There it goes. Oh. 
Neil the Tavern Bot Nine. is <laughs> Neil the Tavern Bot is going over how you can spend virtual pastry points that you are earning from watching this broadcast on moving that meter up or down. And at the end of that 20 minutes, we're gonna roll a special set of dice. The Eric TV pastry just got gifted a subscription. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm finally sorted mostly, Eric. <laughs> what? Wow! Pizza Gamer crazy. 17 with another five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, so at the end of that 20 minute timer, we're gonna roll a special set of dice for house rules that will either help or hurt one or all of us. And, and, and we're going to start a bet. Can I look at these? Can I click yes. them? Yes. Wait, what? What are we talking about? Oh, your cards? You My hold, cards. If you hold alt while you're hovering over them, it makes them bigger. Oh! Yeah, it's Thank real you. handy. Uh, okay, so we're going to start a bet as well on who's going to win. And I have to type this out, so give me a second. While gatekeeper shouts at us all about all those new subs Whoa. greetings compressors <laughs> i don't think Nothing you're to distort. hearing that right <laughs> <laughs> nothing to distort uh, nice. <laughs> all right Any, anytime you, you a Thank i'm you. gonna be it bet starting like it. now like you got 20 minutes to get those bets in who's gonna win who's, who's gonna, win? gonna win who's gonna win Do it? The bets. is it gonna be me again <laughs> is it gonna be Eric? Like yeah, it it's hard is. to tell. Eric has a contractual obligation to win because he appears on this show. Mm. But do our <laughs> guests, writers, override Eric's contract? That's, that's the problem. <laughs> the that's lawyers we... duked it out, and only you will find out tonight. <laughs> All right, so. Zero for Eric. Uh, <laughs> two f Wait, one for other Eric, or the Eric. Two for Dustin. Three for Faye. Four for Kaylee. And five for Kyle. Yeah. There you go. Poifle. I'm helping. But Violet Enlightened whoa. One, that's you, you're close. You're real close. <laughs> anyway, Clearly Crystal uh, says we're killing Dustin first, right? And I, I'm not cool with that. Wait, you're killing? Wait, what? Anytime. And no killing. Yeah. Usually, this usually is not it's a me. killing game. It's, yeah, no. But if it if, if it, it is were, a killing it game, me. we kill Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always kill Kyle. That's the rule. That's. Whoa. God. That's a uh, that's morbid. Uh, that's just how we roll here. <laughs> Kill Kyle. <laughs> Goodbye, Kyle. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to play right, this game. Monster. Now you can play the game. All right, everyone. Your monster that you are trying to defeat is the werewolf of Wall Street. <laughs> oh, no. Can I change my view? Uh, oh, I can. You can yes, yeah, yes. you can move your camera around with the right click. I got or it. Well, you rotate, and then you can... Click and drag with the middle click to like kind of pan around or use. Oh, we can also just alt it. I could just alt. Yeah, anything. you can just alt it. Nice. To zoom in I'm just gonna it. do that. Alt -alt. Okay, so now oh. we go around the table one at a time, uh, starting with the Eric. On, you put together a, an invention to defeat the werewolf of Wall Street, and pitch your invention. It's got one base, one power source, and one weapon out of the three of each cards that are in your hand. Yeah, I'm just quickly scanning. Right. All right, here we go. Da, da, da. Sure Meanwhile, thing. I've just understood how to move <laughs> the board. Oh, I shouldn't look at your stream. Okay, I'm not going to Oh, do I mean, that. it's like it matters if you know what my yeah, cards yeah, are on this bad. one. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm not looking anyway. All right. I, am. I have my set here. <laughs> All right, okay. and, All right, and draw Show one malfunction. Yep. Well, I'll you, do that after you pitch the yeah. rest of it to us. Well, yeah, that's fine. No, you, you, no, no, you fine. have to draw it. It's and... there, and then we, after I pitch, then we flip it, right? Okay, yeah, yeah that's great. No, you, it's included in your pitch, so you rather reveal all Right, I was going to say I was gonna say pitch your cards before you reveal what the malfunction is. Yeah, reveal them one yeah. at a time. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. I do your thing. Or not. All right. So, we have attacking... Where is it? The Greek Parthenon. <laughs> it's the werewolf of Wall Street. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. And so, dangerous foe. Dangerous foe. <laughs> I am here to present to you the only way we can stop the werewolf of Wall Street. And inside my garden shed, <laughs> I have 
Oh, wait, no. This is a garden shed that rides on a goblin who is riding another goblin. <laughs> Carrying a large magnifying glass to concentrate the sun's rays. Mm, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, however, the pilot <laughs> forgot to take their pills. Okay, yeah. Um, I can see that being. I problem. am the pilot. I I should tell you that as well. <laughs> okay. I can see that being the problem. Now, traditionally, sunlight not the 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 worst thing for werewolves, especially since they are a night-based creature. But I imagine in a, in a, in a scenario where a werewolf were in the day, you could certainly harm it and chew it away with some concentrated sunlight. Werewolf loves moon. It's allergic to sun. That's that's a given. That's a given. <laughs> I mean, I can't argue with that. My goblins tell me everything, and they know the secrets to the werewolf. Mm -hmm. And these goblins, they are not a manifestation of a, of a person not taking their medication? Listen, listen, the goblins told me <laughs> that you would tell me to take the pills. The pills, the pills are bad. The pills are bad. Not, okay. It's not me that's bad. It's, it's the pills. Sweet, so are we all fighting each other? Or we're, no, we're, we're, trying... all, we're all pitching an invention to defeat the werewolf of Wall Street. Okay. And... And mostly Eric is going to decide which one of our weapons or which one of our inventions uh, got is it. the okay, best got at the, is that at that objective. Easy peasy. Got Dustin, it. what do you Thank got? You. My turn? All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, so I've got, I've come up with a, okay, so hear me out. It sounds a little <laughs> crazy. We, got, we mm -hmm. start with okay. a whale. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> the power source on this guy, he is actually super angry, and he is fueled by rage. So this is this is like, you know, never-ending energy right here. So I don't have to worry about anything there. Um, and the weapon I've attached to him is a robot arm holding a club. This is mm. a very pointy club on, on, the, on the end, just so you know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> not your normal club. Right? Not your normal club. It's, it's a very pointy, pointy club. Very pointy. Uh... Uh, the problem is, I only have <laughs> six minutes left to live. Okay, yeah, I imagine the whale probably won't survive very long out of, despite being fueled by rage, wouldn't survive very long on land to fight the yeah, werewolf of yeah. Wall Street. Yeah, right. He dries up real quick. Yeah. He needs, he needs the, you know, the but like, water. yeah, but I could see, I could see that being a real threat to a werewolf. Right. Especially you... if that club were silver. It's not specified, but you know. Yeah, it's it's a robot arm made out of silver. You know, throwing you know like a spiky, you know, <laughs> spiky club. Wow! All right. Yeah. A whale fueled by rage. <laughs> a robotic arm holding a club. A very pointy club. Very pointy <laughs> club. <laughs> only a very pointy club with only six minutes left to live. Oops, I touched your card. Sorry. Oh, How I dare again. you? <laughs> <laughs> Right. But this whale being fueled by rage, I mean, he's going to get the job done. You know, he's got a robotic arm. You don't got to like... worry about being tired. That robotic arm is just going to go to town. Sounds like a real threat to this werewolf. Okay. Uh, right. so right. I'm just I'm giving not, you my piece. I'm not trying to help Dustin, but that, I mean, that's how the song goes, right? I mean, despite all my rage, I'm still just a whale with a robot arm holding a club. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. I remember. That's how it yeah. goes. Yeah. Played right. on the yeah. radio a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I All remember right. that one from, from my school. Okay. <laughs> Is it my turn? It's Faye's yeah. turn. Okay. Tell us what you got. Okay, so we're looking at the werewolf of Wall Street. Look mm -hmm. at this guy. Hold alt on it. You can view the card. Okay, so this this wolf likes money and mm -hmm. power. It's the werewolf of Wall Street. Yep. How yes. do you beat someone? with so much power and influence, well, you cancel them, okay? So you got, <laughs> I got an ice cream van, right? Ooh, they, okay, yeah. this is probably by, by the werewolf himself. And I mean, he's got it being pulled by a hundred little blue men. Manual <laughs> labor, all these little blue men, what is he doing? It's a lot of little blue men. Yeah, sounds it's like, terrible. It's like absolutely terrible. very trademark then, free version of Smurfs. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then the speakers are way too loud. Ooh, so like, yeah. Everybody in the neighborhood oh, is just yeah. pissed off. You know what? That's a surefire way to cancel this wolf. He's going to lose all his power and influence. <laughs> very sad. Very upsetting. Sadly, so sorry, Werewolf of Wall Street. There is a You're canceled. There's a slight malfunction with yours. Uh, one, well, they're two, all three. on Twitter. Blue men. <laughs> if, you, if you hover your... <laughs> If you hover your cursor over this card and press F on your keyboard, you'll flip it over. F? Okay. Yeah. There you what go. is this? This is oh, the malfunction. malfunction. Oh. oh. However. You live in constant fear of the pencil man. 
Mm. Oh no! I imagine, yeah, the pencil men does come come for the small blue men. I imagine that would be. <laughs> uh, now I, I'm not saying that this is that this isn't like like a no, but like it seems like like a, Wall Street would probably have a lot of pencils, and that would be mm -hmm, really mm -hmm. hard for them. And while sounds like more drama though. Yeah, I, and, and <laughs> that's a bigger story. <laughs> you made me more powerful. And certainly, loud loud radios would drop the property value, which is what the werewolf of the Wall Street hates the most, is right. losing money, I yeah. imagine. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's a true, solid, true. solid mm -hmm. weapon. Solid mm. weapon. That is very scary. Very scary I, indeed. I feel like an ice cream van was But speakers. once Twitter's going... <laughs> I feel like they, an ice cream they got the locals and I the will tell internet. You, I I was once at a convention where a commercial was playing on a loop so loud we we were so incredibly angry that we left. <laughs> that and, and we sent Kyle to pretend to be an official capacity oh, yeah, to we tell did. the person to leave <laughs> because he had a nice shirt on and a badge so he <laughs> so we pretended like we were part of the convention. I completely so forgot about that part. Oh no. I remember we all had that stupid commercial memorized because of that commercial is now all of my alerts on Twitch. Uh, uh, I was going to say, I feel like an ice cream van with speakers that are way too loud is just, that's a little redundant, isn't it? Like all ice cream vans have speakers that are it's, too loud. It's just amplified, you okay. know? Yeah. All right, so even worse. It's even worse than usual. Yeah, it's, it's even worse. Yeah, yeah you take the ice worse. cream van. And you gotta make you sure everybody more. hears yeah. all the tragic, horrible things that this werewolf of Wall Street has been doing. <laughs> All right, so Kaylee, what do you have for us? Okay. So, we have Santa's sleigh because Santa always delivers presents at night, um, and that's when werewolves are active. So, like, it wouldn't be suspicious. You'd expect yep. it to be there. True. Um, and if he wasn't interested by that, um, I, I can lure him in with a hundred angry cats. <laughs> uh -huh. um, he may not know that they're even angry at the time, but he's a werewolf, so, like, he's not going to be able to say no to a hundred cats. No, <laughs> never. Definitely not. Um, and then they're covered in spikes, so Ooh. you know he gets there. And ah. I would hope they're silver spikes. <gasps> I think wow. I think we have the budget for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a malfunction. Wait, there's was I supposed to draw something like that? Yeah, yeah you got we, we grabbed it for you. Wait, everything is oh. banana yellow, which oh. you know isn't that big of a problem because it's kind of <laughs> like the moon, I guess. I gotta say, yeah, as somebody That's who's, great. who's surrounded by a bunch of angry little kittens, they are surprisingly powerful, and their voice is booming. Uh, it's it yeah. is hard. And a hundred of them, <laughs> yeah, a hundred of them. I could, I like one of them. It's eleven days old, and it, it is it is impossible to wrangle. <laughs> Can't imagine a hundred. Yeah. That's a lot, and and the fact that it's at night. I mean, that's that's the because that's when that's when the werewolf's gonna operate, and he's gonna mm. he's probably gonna see that that sled and be like, "Yo, the Santa sled, hell yeah, I'm gonna steal some presents because he's a bad person because he works on Wall Street." Yeah, and then kittens. It's a good idea. That's when the cats have the most energy too. Like, have yeah. you ever had a? They're 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 doing zoomies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at night. Yeah, truth, truth. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me get my cards out here. Been, I've been playing cameraman. Okay, uh, and uh, and uh, go ahead and give me that malfunction while I'm at it. Okay, take it. So, uh, so right. here's here's my pitch for you, uh, uh, werewolf of Wall Street. I it, this is how I would defeat you. Uh, okay. First off, I'm gonna take the car from Cars. I'm Ooh. not gonna be specific. Ooh. I'm gonna Which let one? you fill in the blank. Okay. All right, you choose. Ah. Which car from Cars is coming for you? Could be, I mean, could be Larry the Cable Guy, or could be yeah, that other one. Yeah, I was thinking one. that, but I think we're gonna stick <laughs> Daniel with Daniel in the German. We're, we're gonna stick with Lightning McQueen, maybe. Okay, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how the rest of it goes. But. Right. Yeah. Uh. So. So Lightning McQueen. Uh. Is that? Uh. That's. Oh, that's doesn't. Owen Wilson. No, Owen Wilson. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Okay. Daniel Bruhl in the German version. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, so Daniel Bruhl, the German version of Lightning McQueen, has expanded. Is, uh, is, he is, and he's powered by not gasoline, but the terrible truth of the werewolf of Wall Street's dark <gasps> history. <gasps> he knows oh. how the werewolf of Wall Street became the werewolf <gasps> of Wall Street, and it's not wow. pretty. Ooh. And he is armed with a gun that makes hair grow real fast. 
So what? he's gonna oh. he's gonna shoot the werewolf of Wall Street, make that hair just grow and grow and grow until he can't do anything because he's just covered wow. in hair. He's, he's oh, already so got a lot of it. Get a haircut, you hippie. He's gonna look like cousin it. He's not gonna be able to do any stock deals. No, like, looking like that. Yeah, he's a dirty hippie from here right. on out. Just gonna uh, roll. Long-haired businessman. Ka chow. Get stuck in That's your right. coat. That's right, Togusa. Ka chow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the uh, but the mouth the the problem here is that my invention was built on a very low budget, so uh, oh. that's why that's why it's it's the German Lightning McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's so cool. yeah, both, yeah. yeah, so it's dusk chow. Oh, dusk yeah. dusk chow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and. The hair grows real fast, but real fast is kind of a relative term. So yeah. Oh. Uh, what you right. got like? Uh... <laughs> all right. Like you know, okay, like, my hair please. grows pretty fast, but like his hair maybe grows like an inch a day. That's that's fast comparative to hair, you know? Yeah. True. <laughs> um. These are some solid weapons. I'm not gonna lie. It's a <laughs> tough choice. Um. I'm feeling though. As someone who's currently beset by cats, that the hundred cats is really d the dominating force for me. So <laughs> Woo! Nice. There's a lot of cats. It so, is a lot of cats. So Kaylee claims that card. Let's go, Kaylee! <laughs> All right. There's enough cats for everyone, too. hundred angry cats. <laughs> yeah! They're probably still angry, though, so, you know. Angry. They, they are never not angry. All right, so that rounds over. So now we discard all our cards. All our cards, right? All our cards. Oh. oh. Uh oh. I kind of like that though, because then you don't like if you have a bunch of cards, you're like, oh. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate oh. that compared to compared to like and cards against these, humanity, where yeah, a lot of you're these stuck games, with. You have to like hold on to like yeah. happy cards. Wait, how do I do discard them? Discard <laughs> piles. Is it this thing? Yeah, yeah we need to oh, make no, a discard that pile. <laughs> that's the yeah, that's the monster. Uh. <laughs> Here? Okay, yeah. Base. Oh. Oh, you guys are organizing? Oh, but I see, I see, okay. Just in case we need to reshuffle, yeah, that's a good plan. Yeah, yeah oh, good call. They, they boop themselves into a pile. Yes, if yep. you get, if you, yeah. as long as you get close. Ah, I see, it, it does an overlay thing. Whatever yeah. you call it. Whoop. Whoop. All right. Eric, you get to be the next Dustin, monster. Dustin, you need to help Lit. these guys out with some scripting for, for drawing new cards and stuff. Right? <laughs> oh, do you know the developers for this? Well, they've been playing his game a lot. Ooh. Yeah, I talk to him on the Discord sometimes. Oh, I thought I meant Tabletop Simulator. Oh, uh, yeah, you I talked to, those to people them too. too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, I'm actually sad. I lost a card that I really liked. Aww. Goodbye. Uh, okay, I so need to find my back. phone. All right, I am a legally distinct electric yellow mouse. Oh, don't do whatever. Whoever just did that just dealt extra cards to Eric. What? It's fine. Yeah, I know, but uh -huh. it's easier just to. Okay. No, I already have. What? He already has cards. Oh, you That's already why I was like, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Illegally distinct. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> This is not any other oh, electric yellow mouse. This is this is a legally distinct. It took me more than ten seconds, which oh, is really sad, but also like it, it's legally distinct. <laughs> they did a good job. It's a new IP. You wouldn't recognize this. A legally That's distinct <laughs> electric yellow mouse. That's oh. awesome. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Wait, should I have? Oh, you're still doing it. Uh, yeah, or do Eric I draw? took some stuff, so it's gonna take just a second. Well, I mean, okay. it's it's gonna do that every round if you do it that way because the monster won't spend their cards. Huh? If you just deal to all, the monster's gonna get cards that they won't use. No, I know. I'm saying like I could just do that, and the monster can put their cards back on the piles, and we can shuffle. That's what I did. It's just quicker I, I to get it. everybody cards. All right. That's how it happens. All right. Uh -huh. I know. I don't. Let's go. I don't know. It's go fine. ahead. I'm done. Let's go. Dustin. I haven't even looked. Hold up. Yeah, I got to look at mine, too. Uh, uh, 
And oh, and Kaylee got a point. I what gotta are we give fighting? that point. Uh, legally distinct electric field. Uh, okay, cool. Mm. Don't like my cards, but that's okay. I can make it work. Let me get over to Dustin's play area here. Oh, we're getting ready to roll. Should we just do that first? Let's do oh, that yeah, first let's, before yeah. anybody plays. We'll buy everybody some time to look at the cards. Yeah. Smart. All right. So, uh, oh, but I would like to, to offer, uh, how about Kaylee? Kaylee will still have time to look at cards. Kaylee, huh? if you could come over your, your camera over to this can, uh, cannon over here. Thank you. Over in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. There's a button on the back. Sorry, guys. That says no fire. Worries. Go ahead and click okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Boom. All right. Everyone gets a big old buff. What? Let's see what it is. Number six. Someone from my stream sent me food. <laughs> what? <Aww. laughs> That's awesome. I have this thing called Treat Stream. How do they know where you there. live you. to get they food don't. delivered? No, that's it's a app. thing called Treat Stream, so it connects to your Grubhub. What? And it's like in between. Kyle's like, yeah. I need to do that. And there's I a cool down. Down. So <laughs> Add it. Add it. That's amazing. It is amazing. All right. Let's see what everybody's buff is. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone draws an extra weapon card for the next three rounds. Cool. Ooh. All right. Nice. Do we get? Do we get it so now? So we do. We get one. Yeah. Yeah. Do we get one now? Yeah. Sure. Let's do it now. Cool. Okay. Oh, mine's upside down. No, nope, go. Come back. If you drag it out How of you your hand it again? and back in, F. Go. Yeah, F. I hit F. Hopefully that. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, Linda. People are going to buy me breakfast crunch wraps. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to If it's happen. on Grubhub, you could set that up. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a there's a limit. Like, they can't go above a certain amount, which is good. Okay, yeah, good. <laughs> so they don't just deliver, like, a right? hundred... Breakfast crunch yeah. crust. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then there's a cooldown, so people can't. Fine with it. <laughs> I was. I had just the uh, brilliant, most brilliant idea of five seconds ago. <laughs> They've thought of it. Oh, I love your friend Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> One time to pay Kyle back for a month of rent, I sent him. Uh, I scheduled my Bank of America oh. to mail him. Physically mail him a one dollar check every day for three hundred yeah. days. Yeah, you are such a dick. <laughs> That's real friendship. I love it that. It's so fun. It's so fun. Oh man. Oh. All right. You okay. Guys ready, to, uh, ready to see Justin's my invention ready. here? Yes. Yeah. Let's let's do this first round of pitch meetings today. All right. So uh, first thing we started off here was a nice magic broomstick. Nothing too fancy, you know. Keeping it old school. Um, and then we uh, equipped on two ion engines to really get that thing going, you know? We well, wanted to bring it, it up to modern up. I like speed, it. you know? it's 5 million. Yeah, I exactly. Like it. You know, it's rustic, but will blow your face off with the speed. Um, and riding on uh, top of this magic broom, we actually have the uh, owner of uh, Pokemon, the, uh, the, the, the actual creator. Um, the, and he owns, owes me a favor. Um, so he's going to sue the crap out of you. Uh, because that is definitely not legally uh, distinct. Sir, we are we legally have the distinct. lawyers behind this, and we have the money, and you are going down unless you pull that image right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> but sadly, my invention explodes if it drops under 50 miles an hour. So you which go. is why we installed the twin ion engines, because <laughs> they don't speed for days. <laughs> So, Excellent. we'll see how it goes. I, we'll did see not see this, I did not see you taking this angle in this pitch <laughs> meeting. <laughs> hmm. Great. Great. Oh, man. All right. I thought, I thought we were going to screen these guys. I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's to Faye now. Okay. I don't have a great hand here, but I'm going to try my best. Here we go. Okay. I, to defeat this... Illegally distinct electric yellow mouse. Um, I'm going to take out a futuristic ground type Pokemon, probably 
a, a dog trio because ground beats electric. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> pocket monster. Uh, uh, illegally distinct right, yeah. <laughs> legally monster. Distinct pocket monster. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, and uh, don't have a good second one. It, it is uh, pulled by an old wizard. <laughs> okay. Why is it pulled? To help get momentum through the ground. And it will travel faster. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, physics. And then <laughs> uh, it's also wielding a banana katana. <gasps> and she even pronounced it right. <laughs> yeah, gaining the favor of the developers and therefore will absolutely support the defeat of this illegally distinct electric yellow mouse that is just too dangerously close to copyright in their own game. And they definitely, the developers want to defeat this to get it out of their game. Yep, that's my that's my pitch. Uh, but oh, wait, oh, right, 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 right. I forgot. Sorry. Uh, I have to, and the the issue with this is that um, uh, it's that the invention is made of Lego, uh, so it's uh, it's hard to tell. But that's exactly why it is distinctly not. Uh, you know, the, the yeah. exact copyright version. It's, it's legally uh, distinct from it's, Pokemon, but yes. it's not legally distinct from Legos. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not quite. But it's it's definitely uh it's definitely uh resistant to electricity. So it's good. It's That's great. True. It's okay. That's it's true. okay. Yeah, you ever stick a Lego in a light socket? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Also It'll be okay. also if 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 this uh, a, a legally distinct electric yellow mouse steps on the Legos, it would hurt mm. the, that. Yeah, it would. Yeah. That's true. Nobody That's likes true. that. <laughs> Thank you. This is my pitch. All right. <laughs> Kaylee, what do you have for us? <laughs> All right. I have for you today a washing machine. Now stick with me because there's, there's, there's a lot more to this washing machine. Okay. Washing okay. Washing machines, they run on electricity. Electricity is going to be attracted to other electricity, and not only that, but if he feels threatened by it and he attacks it with electricity, all it will do is power it. Um, it's powered by hugs, <laughs> and this is really great because any kind of movement with electricity, you create more static electricity. Mm. So it's self-sustaining as well. Nice. Um, and once once we lure him in close, um, it's a bazooka, but it shoots bowling balls. Uh, <laughs> bowling balls are stone. Um, and rocks are very good against electric types in most video games. Um, if this was a video game, <laughs> like it's trying to be, then it would be very effective. I mean, the physics of video games are the physics of real life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Always. For sure. Uh, no. So what yeah, goes yeah, wrong with this invention? Yeah, yeah. So, so the problem is that it's sideways and I forget how to turn. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um... Everything is held together by chewing gum. Okay, yeah. Mm. I can see how mm. that could be a problem. Mm. Ooh, yeah. But the mm. thing is, when static electricity is involved, things are going to stick together also. So that's extra, extra stick. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 who, wait, who, wait, is it chewed gum or is it, fr like, who chewed the gum? <laughs> um, I'd say, it would, like, it would be chewed. It is chewed? Okay. Yeah, it's chewed. I was just curious. Just curious. Yeah. I chewed it all myself. <laughs> I'm very anxious. You chewed it all yourself. <laughs> it's got to be held together somehow. It does. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, let's see what I got for you. I don't even remember. We'll <laughs> find out together. Give me this malfunction card. All right. So, we're fighting... Just as a reminder, everybody, we're dealing with a legally distinct electric yellow mouse. So, to, to combat this legally distinct electric yellow mouse, I'm going to use a wooden pallet. I know it sounds simple, but there's more to it, okay? Uh, a, wooden, a wooden pallet that's very large, so it's big enough to do some damage to this, uh, this elect legally distinct electric yellow mouse uh and this wooden pallet is powered by a huge hamster wheel full of hamsters all right hamsters yeah. everybody knows mortal enemies of electric yellow mice 
So, uh, uh, also, they are armed with the ability to breathe fire. Right? Wow. All right? So, I mean, if, if a, if a fire-breathing hamster, a, a whole bunch of fire-breathing hamsters pulling a wooden, a big old wooden pallet face off against an electric mouse, one electric mouse, who's gonna win, really? Think about it. Problem is... True, out of pure power. Uh, Oh, my mistake. I thought that the hamsters were the pilot, but the, the, the truth <laughs> of the matter is, the pilot is Lincoln's head in a jar. Uh, I don't I see this see as a problem because he can still breathe fire, so um, that jar is going to get real hot. The yeah. jar is going to get real hot. <laughs> so, if, so if the electric mouse tries to grab the pilot, he's going to burn his hands. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lesson you only need to learn once. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Unless you're me, and then you learn it every time you put something in the stove. There's there's mitts for that. What? <laughs> it's legendary mochi. What? <laughs> yes. Uh. So, what? He's bringing I... coffee. Everyone's getting food to them. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have drinks though, so. <laughs> I'm gonna sip on my drink while Eric pitches his invention. Ow. All right, so a lot of people have come up here with their their wackadoo ideas of what what a weapon against a legally distinct electric yellow mouse should be. And I'll tell you right now, the only thing you really need is a a suit of power armor. Face hmm. easy. Now, you, I know what you're thinking right now. I know what you're thinking right now, Eric. Power armor. Uh, electricity. That's gonna He's going to short-circuit that. Like, you see that? That is most exactly of these people, what I was thinking. Most of these people are like, they, they all use electricity in one way or another. He's going to short-circuit it. No. This one is powered by... Hit the right button. So this one's actually powered uh, by solar power. So mm. so the sun actually fuels this. So... so his electricity will do nothing to us because we're solar powered. We're, we've already solved that problem. Now, you might be saying, what's in the suit that's so powerful? What, it, what weapons does it hold? The strongest, deadliest weapons anyone has ever seen on this planet. Disney's legal team. Oh. Now, I know you're saying that this is a legally distinct mouse, but I, I posit the Disney's legal team will have this taken down. They are powerful. I know somebody on that team personally. His name's Tyler. He's, he, it doesn't matter. They deal with mice too. They're going to go at this full force. They are going to throw so much money at this mouse that it's going to have no choice but to step away. Uh, unfortunately, there is a little bit of a malfunction in that everyone hates you. <laughs> because you're the Disney legal team. Because you're the Disney legal team. Wait, no so are, you. are we supposed Listen, to be debating these things I'm not against saying, each other? I'm not saying that the copyright laws are correct. I'm saying that we are we are enforcing the laws that we have. If we're going to change the copyright laws, we can. But until that happens, we are going to enforce the laws that we have. Everybody went with such a legal route with this one. That's so funny. Well, I mean, I have the actual devs, and they're smart enough to not let this happen. You think they got more money than Disney? I, uh, well, it shouldn't even get to that point because it, it stops with the devs. I, I I've got the, uh, the the guy that who made it. He's got the IP rights to this shit right here. Okay, wanna, you're not gonna be be beaten. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask about the solar power. What kind of solar power doesn't involve conversion into electricity? Is this is it like this just guy. said? Literal he said we got power. a lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of magic weapon is just? Flames that's inside of a jar. You know what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> got a point. This also a sounds point. like a grass type uh, mm. Samus, and Samus is lower than, uh, I mean, legal Samus, I mean, uh, legally <laughs> distinct Samus is probably a uh, uh, lower tier than a uh, uh, legally distinct yellow mouse and I'm legally sorry, distinct. You think, are you, you think making a Smash that... Brothers reference? Yes, I am. I'm trying. You, my you, best. I, I posit that. No Pokemon on this green earth could withstand the full force of a of a solar beam. Okay. Actually, <laughs> actually, uh, I could give actually. you the calcs on that, but I'm not. <laughs> All right. I just want to say that being powered by hugs, you're never gonna run out of supply unless 
your arms get cut off, but that's not what electric <laughs> do. So. I don't know. Look at this rat. <laughs> I think that so to avoid a legal dispute entirely, I'm going to uh, go with Lincoln's head in a jar. Yeah. <laughs> Only you because you were so sued. I think going. A very political route will save me from the legal troubles, and, and Lincoln, part the Lincoln's head party will so uh, will prevail. And got so far. Uh, <laughs> damn! Thought I had that one. But in the, the end, <laughs> doesn't even matter. I tried so hard with the cards. <laughs> you did. <laughs> they were they were the best though. It was a valiant. Nice effort. job! Nice job! <laughs> This game's fun. Yeah, I'm liking fun. it. Yeah, I'm liking it. <laughs> I feel like this is the, like how pitch meetings for half the animes go now. The ones that have like a million yes. words in the yeah, title. Yeah, just draw cards. My, yeah. yeah. Like, the time I was reincarnated as a <laughs> bottle of nail polish right. with 50 <laughs> gems in my armpits. Plus ultra. Yeah. That sounds like a, an anime to me. All right. Deal out some new cards. And Dustin, you're picking monster. I never got rid of my old cards, oh no. Oh no, sorry. Kyle. <laughs> it's I my fault. I thought you were done. Uh, I'll wait. Dumb, yes. <laughs> no, done. <laughs> done. <laughs> done. Kyle, don't call wow. our guest dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kyle. I don't know why he's such a rude jerk. I don't either. It's in my nature, I guess. <laughs> These don't all look familiar. I don't know which one. Okay, I think that one's. Old I only dealt base old. cards. Yeah, I think. Okay, the, the, then the I last don't know three. how I ended up okay. with extra ones. But... All right. Oh wait, we did have extra ones. We did. Yeah. Yes. In fact, we're gonna have an extra one again because we're still buffed. Yeah. Whoa. Woo. Is it three turns we had that? Yeah, Correct. so we get one more after yeah. this one. And we'll probably be rolling for another buff or nerf by the time that one wears out. Oh no. What is this? Alright, what are we dealing with, Dustin? Oh, that's like a real no, one. Oh, that's a discard. <laughs> oh. The four you pick? The you draw two yeah, you... and pick one if you're the monster. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh. I forgot that. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, you just took the the first one. I liked what I got though, so yeah. <clears throat> Probably would have picked that anyway. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so you guys are up against. Wow. A giant baby with tentacles for hair. <laughs> okay. Not to be confused with a baby out. Medusa, but a giant no, baby no, with tentacles snakes. for hair. They're tentacles. Got it. God, okay. Kyle. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, is and it we alien? start with Bay to fight this okay. thing. Okay. Or is it oh, no, just a normal aquatic. baby? Just a normal baby. Just a normal, normal, just normal baby with tentacles. Just though. a normal yeah, baby with that. tentacles What's, for hair. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's the big deal? I don't understand. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is tricky. All right. Um, okay, idea. Have you played? This is, this is an old game. It's an old game. It was on the SNES, but it's called Yoshi's Island. Yes. Yes. All right. So, from what I can barely recall from that game, you play as this Yoshi character, right? <laughs> and you carry this baby around. But I think Yoshi was pretty good at losing babies, too. And if you lose the baby, it's over. So I'm going to pair this giant baby with a uh, a flying... It's, it's in a hot air balloon, okay? Or no, no, no. The, the, the baby's in the balloon. Or we try to put it in a balloon. Because <laughs> it's, it's just like it's in a bubble, okay? And then it's... Uh, um, it's... Uh, mm, it is... Uh, mm, it is running on festive cheer. Wow, so happy at first. Because that's the bait. That's how you bait a baby. It's like things that they're so simply happy with. You know, ignorance is bliss. But then, you know, it's a Yoshi because, like, giant sticky tongue. So, so yeah, this is really, it's, it's just it's a giant, it's a giant Yosh. 
that you're dealing with. Yep. Okay, okay. Making, making that noise, that boom. And then, uh, yeah, but the, the problem with this is that uh, you have to deal with uh, the, your invention arrives disassembled. That's perfect! It's supposed to be disassembled because that's how you beat it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all good. Thank all right. you for All right. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll consider that. I'll consider that. <laughs> you got to put it together yourself like Ikea furniture, but you save a little bit. <laughs> I'm always up for save it a pity when you're trying to defeat giant babies with tentacles. Try, right. Trying to beat giant baby with tentacle. Not delicious. Lose baby all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, it's hard when you're first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to like. Yeah, you don't have time to think. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Yep. All right. Oh. No. Okay. Big. Anyway. Oh. Can I do this? Do it. Huh? Big. It. Wasn't it? I mean, it's a bus. But I. That's a. slowly floating away and <laughs> yeah but, oh, no. but here's the thing like if a baby really wants something it is going to attach to it it has so many tentacles the tentacles have suction cups it'll fl it will just from the All right, Kyle. Babies famously love balloons and big titty anime waifus. So. True. Wait. <laughs> One would assume. I probably should have asked if it was okay to say titty before saying titty, but I already said titty and now I've said it like ten times. Now you've said it a lot, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Am I just saying it differently? Fuck! It might be an accent. <laughs> yeah, it must be. Oh, yeah, it's probably because yeah. the whole Midwest thing. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I like your accent, though. Yeah. It's a pretty good accent. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, I love I this even... show. I love you guys. This is awesome. 
why it's should we, too should soon. We go, should, 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 should Eric pitch? I don't know. Kyle. Well, they. I don't think they can hear us, or they can't what hear happened? us very well. Oh, oh. They can't hear any of us. They can't hear anybody. I think that. Might oh, be but it. this was so golden. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All those fucks. I didn't give them. <laughs> that was such good television. Damn it. That Such was. Content. Oh, those is were... Kyle muted? I can't. Yeah, those, that was fantastic oh, content. We can't can hear us, but we can't hear Kyle. Oh no, they can hear. That's they can hear. Funny. All right, we're good. Okay, we're good. then I'll do okay, my good. thing. Content is saved. We'll skip, skip Kyle. No one cares. <laughs> is he gonna have to like, restart everything Kyle's, for him for to work? For some reason, though? Kyle's the one that's out. Okay. I don't know how long he's been out. That's funny. I fixed it. Oh yeah! Oh, yay! I have job, no Kyle. idea what caused that. How long it, was it just you? It was so throughout the entirety of Kaylee's turn, all of the audio for me was stuttering so bad I couldn't hear anything. I assume for the chat, the uh, the audio that basically involved people talking was stuttering so bad nobody could hear anything. Oh. oh. Um, until I closed voice meter and then I think they could hear you guys. But oh. they still couldn't. We could all hear each other. I fine. still couldn't hear anything. Put in the chat how many fucks did you hear? So yeah. we know. Yeah, then, then we'll know. Yeah. How many times did, did you guys you clip that? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, why don't you just quickly go over your pitch again? Please, Kaylee. Yeah, because I think oh. everybody missed that. <laughs> okay. Did they? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. So. What I am bringing to you today is a statue of a big titty anime waifu. <laughs> and the reason that I chose this is because the, the, there's sustenance from, from the big titties, and babies need sustenance. Um, and the baby has tentacles, so naturally, if there's an anime waifu, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's into that. It's, yep. it's coming. Um, and it is powered by an internal combustion engine. Um, this is just a great power source in general, but also it's warm. Babies like warmth. Um, and No harm to the environment. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's all great. All, all great. Uh, everyone feels safe. Um, and then there's a massive cheese grater, though, um, which, which isn't so safe. And I know that, like, you may not want, like, grated baby, but you do probably want grated tentacles. You know, you have, like, free sushi then, like, for <laughs> so many different people. Um, you can make takoyaki if you're a weeb. You probably are super into that. So I just feel like everyone is really winning in this situation. Uh huh. Um, the problem is that it there are hundreds of balloons strapped to it, um, which may or may not be Faye's fault, um, and it is slowly <laughs> floating away. But because <laughs> this baby has so many tentacles, it's probably going to be we're on working the together already. Yeah, and, and it's got it's got suction cups. It's totally attached to the statue. It probably doesn't even know how to get off of the statue itself at this point. Uh, so even if it floats away, like we're just getting like free sushi from the sky, like worst case scenario. So. The babies <laughs> are historically very stupid. Yeah, the babies are dumb. Yeah, like, babies are so dumb. dumb. Yeah, my last <laughs> realtor was a baby. And All the it babies did not go in well. chat. <laughs> Imagine being a baby. <laughs> So dumb. Uh, so stupid. <laughs> uh, okay. Can't do anything. They can't even say fuck. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, that's great. Thank you for recapping that for me. Baby uh, rage. While while everything was broken, we did have the timer go off. I'll wait to roll for the next. I say we wait to roll till the round is done. Yeah, do it. But okay. So for my invention uh, to defeat. Yeah. Uh, what are we fighting again? It's it's a giant baby with tentacles on its head? Yeah. Yes. Got it. Okay, cool. So, bear with me on this, because it's going to get a little weird. Also, I don't remember what cards I laid out. So, better, uh, weirder than <laughs> Big Titty Anime Waifu. Yeah, right, okay. Balloons and a cheese grater? So first, I just fold, Kyle. First off, we have a really big dog. I know, the, the bar is set high by, by the previous invention. Uh, so... So we have a really big dog. Babies love dogs. Or they're terrified of dogs. Either way, it's a great in. All right? <laughs> so uh, then, then this really big dog is powered by an engine that burns babies with tentacles on their heads. 
Oh, oh, I did not see that. Wow. Coming. Oh, 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 you see, you see, That's and also thinking with your noodle. Also, it's armed with a slingshot that shoots tiny babies with tentacles on their heads. <laughs> what? What? You've just blown so, my mind, good sir. It's got all kinds of meta stuff going on with it. Babies with tentacles on its head. Ouroboros. And it's. <laughs> So it's just, it's kismet, you know? This thing needs the giant baby with the tentacle on its head. I'll let Kyle do the malfunction, but I have a problem with this. Already. Uh-huh. Okay. Me too. Uh, so <laughs> the, the issue, the one issue, the only possible issue that I could possibly see with this particular <laughs> invention is that uh, it has to be, you have to be stationary in order to use the, the weapon, the, the slingshot shooting tiny I don't think that something. that's the, the issue. I think the <laughs> issue is that in order to power the slingshot that fires the baby with tentacles, you need a baby with tentacles. So you need to have a second baby with tentacles. Well, yeah, it's what, got an, it's it's got an unlimited supply. Do you have a second baby with tentacles? Or do I he have to capture... He shoots tiny babies yeah. with tentacles. Yeah, it's got, it's got an unlimited so supply of tiny babies. So he just shoots into his babies. energy thing, I would yeah. assume. Wait, if you shoot tiny babies with tentacles, does it form into a new bigger baby with tentacles? Yeah. Do they merge? No, no, so no. Do they no, become no. bigger baby, no, new go, big baby, big, big, big giant baby slingshot. with tentacles? They go, they go over to the the giant baby with tentacles on its head, and they make friends with it. And they're like, hey, <gasps> goo goo ga ga, come over this way, and then stuff it into the, the engine that burns it. <laughs> where did you get the... But what the, if they get too where far? Did you get the it's just stationary. Yeah, where did you get the first baby with tentacles? What? How did you get... It's, you pow to... it's powered by... It's, got them, it's just got them on hand. Unlimited supply. You... You're the producer of the big babies. Yeah, so so you and no, I'm the problem, not the really big dog is. The solution? <laughs> but the really pharma. big dog America. can't move. That's so mean really to the no, dog. It can, it can move as long as it's not actively shooting the tiny babies. It's not a big problem. It's got to stop the aim. That's all. Oh, Does the dog like have a turret. To obey the laws of thermodynamics, <laughs> or just the babies? Just the babies. <laughs> <laughs> the, dog, the dog is is from another dimension. It can create tiny babies with tentacles on its head at, at will. It's it's fine. Oh, okay. No, now fair. that yeah, makes sense. Okay. That's the part I was missing. Sorry. I see. I see. Lead with another dimension next yeah. time. Okay. okay sorry. All right. Cool. So uh, <laughs> my people are going to get back with you on the uh, price quote on that one. Sure. Uh, let's go sure. ahead and hear what Eric has to say. <laughs> Good sir. Have I got the problem for you? Do you have giant babies with tentacles? Uh, well, I've got the solution for you. What you need right now, good sir, is a motorcycle. That's right, a, a, a genuine certified motorbike. Uh, mm. Now you might be saying, hey, why, why, how would a motorbike help me? Well, this motorbike I itself ha may not help you initially, but it is in fact powered by, uh, what's, it's F, sorry. It's in fact <laughs> powered by, uh, didn't break character at all. It is powered by a pair of fire extinguishers, making you go super fast. So not only are you on a motorbike, you're basically on a rocket ship. You can take that to space. I saw the movie, Wally. That's how that works. <laughs> You can go yeah, I saw it too. You, you can go into space if you want to. Fight, fight oh, whatever you want. Sorry. Now, <laughs> in, terms, in terms of weaponry, now, this, Are you this, raging? this man may have a slingshot that fires tiny babies, but what if you just had a catapult that you just got rid of that giant baby? Make that your neighbor's problem. Fire that thing as far as you want. Whole ass catapult. <laughs> you just put a baby in it, fire it, send it away. It's no longer a problem, and you got a sick motorcycle. Now, we have had some issues uh, with manufacturing. There has been um, some reports that um, uh, the pilot uh, is desperate for the toilet. Now that's <laughs> like, like it's you know, so it that can be like, but that's just that's just motivation, you know. That's just uh, you know, you got to get this done. I got to fire that baby out of a catapult real quick because I got to hit the head. Is this Amazon? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, legally we can't force force the pilot to shit in a bag, but. You know, <laughs> Highly <laughs> encourage it. Yeah, but but, but just but, catapult it. Yeah, quarters, fine. quarters, quarters. Shit in the bag, catapult it. Problem solved. <laughs> Wait, I'm helping. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, the Eric. Mm. What'd you invent? All right, Dustin. We got a big baby with tentacles on the loose, and you know what, Dustin? We're gonna need the help of chat with this one. Are you ready? I'm ready? Chat. Here we go. Here's my here's my weapon. We have a barrel of beer. Ooh, I like that. That is powered by stream donations. So 
<laughs> Imagine this. It rolls out across the stream, and you hear something like, Hello, compressor. Uh, <laughs> Hello, compressor. <laughs> And, and chat, HB this can here. control the minds of innocent bystanders. And we think with enough good vibes from chat, we can talk the, good, the big giant baby with tentacles down. Yeah, get okay. that hype train going, and then we can stop. We can now, stop now <laughs> however, we... Strengthen numbers. We are on Kyle's stream, so little, here's the deal. <laughs> little did we know we were fighting a stream boss. <laughs> the pilot has narcolepsy. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyle constantly is falling asleep at the controls on this show, <laughs> and we've known that for a while. So <laughs> it we we it may not work at the time you donate, but we promise that uh, we'll get that barrel rolling. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, you get emotes. You know, and yeah. emotes. You know, yeah. you get emotes. Get when that you donate. Get those tier two and three subscription server where we complain about how our family was destroyed by a baby with tentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. <laughs> Oh, that is a really good isekai name. <laughs> True! <Okay. laughs> uh, All right. What a great combination. Hey, there. Funky Fly Guy just gave us a thousand bits. There it is! Let's go! Funky Fly Guy says up. I support this plan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, What's Funky up, Fly Guy. <laughs> All right, so... I, I've made my decision. I've, I've heard, I've heard your pitches, um, but um, for the good of the world and to defeat the giant baby with tentacles on their head, um, since Eric's invention has been p properly powered, I feel like yeah. that's, 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 that's the only way it was going to win. Is if he got a donation with it? Yeah, the funny. only way. Let's give it up and to the big it. guy upstairs, Funky Fly Guy. Funky Fly Guy. You know, I respect it. I respect it. Yeah. The well played, and I love that it incorporated a barrel of beer. It's so yes, perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, I was like, well, this is just I got to go with this. Oh, yeah. Excellent, oh. excellent combination. <laughs> I'm somehow failing to put Oops. all of these in this pile. No, there's like multiple piles. I'm, I'm, I'm fixing it. It's fine. It's cool. We'll it's fix cool. it. Yeah, it shall be fixed. Okay, so I draw two of these, or you Red. deal yeah, you it. Yeah, draw or... two of those. Do I just pull it over and... If you put your cursor over the stack and then press the oh, number see, of cards you want to draw, it'll draw them. Uh, how do I... Oh, how do you rotate a card so I don't have to have... Q, Q and, and E. Every time? You have to okay, grab it and then hit Q and E. Okay. It's yeah. uh, kind of sad every time. Oh, God. Oh, I, I don't know enough friend. about these. All right. I, oh, I, that's why. We get I four weapons, right? Yes, four weapons. This is the last turn oh, yeah. for that. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Wait, do I do it now or wait? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh okay. You must defeat hungry Shaolin monks. Mm. How do I rotate it again? <laughs> uh, grab it and hit Q and, or E. Uh, uh, there. So everybody else can see it. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. And then I'll discard this. Uh. Kaylee, while you're thinking about what your invention is, Faye, come over here to this cannon. Hey, cannon? Oh, over here, over on the corner of the table. Uh, oh, I see it, Eric, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Between the Eric's. There's a button on uh -huh. the back of it that says fire. Okay, wait, how do I, okay, hold on. Bleh, you can zoom here. in with the mouse wheel. Ah, I see, I see, yeah. uh-huh. All right, go ahead and click that. Click. Whoa. And the Eric is getting a nerf. No! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. What happened? Why would you do that to him? We'll see. Oh. That's rude. He we'll probably deserved it. it. He probably did. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what it is. How does it pick someone? Eric may not communicate with words next round. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh. Wait, next round or this round? Uh, this that would be this round, yeah. This round. <laughs> Wait, how, does, how did it choose? Fun. What did it choose? There's a, the there's a oh, guy that has his name on it. Show off the right dice. There. Show off the dice that has everybody's See? name on it. There's a cricket. Including in your yours. Eye. What? <laughs> there's just a cricket. It just appeared on my desk. Oh, no. Oh, oh I see. Go. Oh, nice. See, That's it's me. got Kaylee's name and your yeah. name's on here somewhere. I'll find it. No, nah, no, nah, I, don't, I don't think my name's on there. It is, nope. too. There it is. No. no. <laughs> Found it. Let's never, we'll never, never see that again. <laughs> so, so, did, did we do cards or was I supposed to draw my own? Did you, you have cards, don't you? 
Well, they're the exact cards I discarded, which somehow came back to me, and I was really confused. That's okay, weird. Okay, well then just discard them again and yeah. <laughs> I just didn't know what happened. Maybe, maybe there's duplicates in the decks. I don't know. No, I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Nobody cares, Kyle. Uh, Kaylee, is your cricket situation <laughs> sorted? I don't know where it went, so I'm scared now. But oh yeah, no. Anyway. <laughs> It's there. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Are you all right? Are you okay to continue? A Get a really big snake. They'll eat them. Then you got a That's snake a really problem. Good idea. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> yeah, but then you get gor gorillas to take out the snakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish my cats were not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Same. My cat, like. He, he loves to hunt, but he's terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> Which monster are we doing? Uh, we're the doing... Hungry Shaolin Monks. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Hungry Shaolin Monks. Okay. Okay. So what I have here is the world's biggest pizza. It's just real self-explanatory there. It's the world's oh, biggest no. pizza, and they're hungry. <laughs> and it's powered by eating pizza. Like, there's just... Oh. This is just... I don't even know how to pitch this because it pitches itself. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's true. But in case in case anyone's dumb like babies, if, if you eat pizza <laughs> and it's powered by eating pizza, then it's powered. <laughs> and, um, That's endless food! Yeah. And the great part is that at the end, you get a jet of hot liquid cheese. <laughs> that's um, true. So that's, it's that's being powered eating by pizza eating pizza. Does. You already have all of the materials, so the laws of thermodynamics are all intact. Yeah. There's just hot liquid pizza, cheese from the pizza, and now it is murdering this, these hungry Shaolin monks. But and what also, could be wrong? Even if, yeah, I mean, they're not going to be even hungry anymore. Now, I imagine there's so, probably some sort of malfunction with this. Yeah, what, what could yeah, possibly you know, go wrong, though? I mean, I can't imagine anything going too wrong, but I, I don't got it, guys. <laughs> but it is controlled by an old pirate ship wheel. Oh, okay. Okay. But um, again, I don't really see how that's a problem. I feel I like either. the design, the design's so straightforward. And a pirate ship wheel is really simple too. So it really just fits into the aesthetic of what we're trying to do here. <laughs> and it's such a nice death too. Like we need to defeat these guys and they're hungry and we're gonna give them their last meal. Like, I don't know how you're cheating right now, but it's not fair. And yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be tough to beat, boys. Sure is. Uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. give it my all. What happened to Dustin, by the way? Mm hmm. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> He's missing everybody else's pitches. That's all right. Uh, he saw that pizza. <laughs> once, and he was like, yeah. No. Yeah. I don't. Once he heard chance. that pitch, it was just over. Yeah. Uh, pizza powered by eating pizza. I'm gone. Okay. I don't know if I can hand. I. I I'll be honest. I don't know if I can handle. I don't know if I can top a pizza that's powered by eating pizza, um, but I'm gonna try. So, <laughs> we're dealing with hungry Shaolin monks, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And look at them, they're drooling, they're very hungry. Uh, so, how do you combat hungry Shaolin monks? Well, first off, you start with a giant's underpants. Cause Whoa. you throw that over the top of them, they get, they get trapped, they can't get out, you know? Giants underpants, oh. like they can't, they can't move in that. It's like, it's like a, a big old, a big old tarp, almost that's just thrown over the top of them. They can't, they can't get away. This giant's underpants is, it runs on sadness, and if you're a hungry Shaolin monk who's trapped, you're pretty sad. So you're fueling oh. the beast here. You see what I mean? Um, and are the mm -hmm. underpants used? Are they worn? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, okay, yeah. they are. I just had to make sure. Ah. Uh, and <laughs> and they are armed with an overinflated balloon, a helium balloon, which, as soon as you you know you, you get those Sha Shaolin monks all all wrapped up in that giant's used underpants, and they can't get out. They're trapped. They're hungry. They're sad. It powers the balloon. The balloon inflates way too much, and it takes off into the sky. And you never have to worry about those hungry Shaolin monks again. Oh my. The problem is that the pilot seat is a leaking toilet. 
Uh, but you know what? It, it flies itself, so there's no, nobody needs to sit on the leaky toilet. It's it's fine. And it I mean, just makes things gross it and more uh. sad. Yeah, it makes the, things uh. pretty gross yeah, and, 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 and sad. And, and therefore more sad for the Shaolin mugs, and therefore helps power the, the giant underpants. That invention gives me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty good, too. See, I'm trying to understand, like, does, does feeding them help them or hurt them because yeah. they're hungry they, yeah yeah hungry? yeah good question are they hungry because they or do they need to starve power? to be defeated well yeah. let's let's hear more let's all right more. all right let's all right. hear more <laughs> here's my pitch to you we're starting off simple base ah. viking long ship impressive <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's simple feat. everyone has one <laughs> incredible feat of engineering uh helped to shape centuries of, of, uh, of war and conflict, so obviously great. Uh, it happens to be powered by the burning corpses of the, the most powerful and famous Vikings in the world. Now, obviously, while the Shaolin monks are nearby this, being that they are people of, of, of repute and people who are, who are you know, are, are, are kind and generally uh, you know, they they would pay their respects to said Viking longship that is currently uh, sending its great kings and and into Valhalla. And while they are paying their respects, we hit them with the Indiana Jones boulder. Man, bam, squish, Ooh. no more Ooh. problems. They're like, ache, ache. this is a beautiful ceremony, uh, sin, you know, symbolizing a, a great warrior's victories in battle. And now, and bam, boulder, squish, no more monks. Um, it's been it's been pretty flawless. We have had some problems though in in testing with the fact that uh, that it catch fire very easily. But honestly, that's kind of what it's <laughs> supposed to do. So it's not. It's more of a again. It's like it it goes up real quick. So you got to make sure that they are real close and they notice it. Uh, but apart from that very tiny flaw, I think it's it's a perfect solution. <laughs> I see. I see. That does sound like death. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not yeah. putting them in an underwear balloon and sending Cy them on a field trip or anything. Cyclonova, you are not crazy. That does say powered by burning copies of something, oh, not corpses. But you know, it, I it's don't fine. know how to read. It's fine. Okay. It works. It's burning copies of of uh, uh, how to survive hunger strikes. <laughs> <laughs> so they go in there. Great. Bam. <laughs> I never learned to read. <laughs> All right. That's it, you're muted. <laughs> Reading's hard. Pressing unmute buttons is hard. Oh, no. Uh, uh, All right. The Eric has know, to pitch they this. They know my deep secret. I have to go. It has to pitch this next invention without using words. You can make sounds, but no words. Uh, 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 All right. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, oh. First word, first word. Oh, oh. You have to become a monkey. Are you, yeah, yeah, are you beetle? Return to monkey. <laughs> 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 like... Of course. Of course. Uh huh. Farting <laughs> horse. <laughs> <Farting horse. laughs> huh? Okay, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was compelling. Uh, yeah, so it sounded like you said a horse runs on farts that runs on farts with a bow that shoots snakes is is your weapon, but it's totally unbalanced. Is that what you said, boy? Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, man, that's... Uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Somehow him speaking after that was unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is the best that's nerf we've good. ever had. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, okay. Applause to that. That's... <laughs> I, I I enjoyed it. Yeah, that was really good great. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dustin, what do you got? Okay, Ooh. all right. So this is gonna be a hard one to top, but oh, okay, let's get into it. 
so my idea is we've got a merry-go-round. And I know what you're going to say. It's stationary. What are you going to do with a merry-go-round against some hungry Shaolin monks? <laughs> right? Well, in the middle of the merry-go-round, we've actually got a fruit tree. And it helps power the merry-go-round through photosynthesis. Okay? So we've got the food in the middle of this merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. That's luring in these hungry Shaolin monks towards the merry-go-round, right? <laughs> so, with this in mind, I thought, you know what? Why don't we? Why don't we just strap Mike Tyson to the front of this thing? So when they get close, <laughs> it's spinning, gives him a little extra momentum, and already they're weak from being hungry. <laughs> You know, so they're just going to keep coming back. You know, it, it, that's if they get past one punch from Mike Tyson. Because, but honestly, are they? Are they? I don't think so. But we did have one thing come up. One thing came up in R and D. Uh, Steve had some issues with uh, the mm -hmm. pilot being a pacifist. Okay, <laughs> um, but Mike Tyson. Historically not a pacifist. Yeah, <laughs> historically not. So obviously this is fake news, and uh, our PR is going to get on this and get well, some redactions pilot, sent out. He's not the pilot. Oh, dear. But you said it's stationary, so it doesn't really need a pilot, I guess. It well, just no, spins the on guy, its own. The guy that turns, turns the thing on isn't going to turn it on because he's a pacifist. He can't. There's no turn on. It's just powered by Oh, okay. By the, the light. Tree. It's powered by that you know? fruit tree. Yeah. So is the fruit tree the pacifist? The fruit tree is a pacifist, but it can't do anything because it's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, we, we thought about these things. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any any last comments here? Because uh, <laughs> I've thought about this. Already. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's know. So, the Eric had a very compelling <laughs> argument. Um... <laughs> But I, I, I don't think I can go with it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eric. It was, oh. it was really, really good. It was really good. And I thought about, like, how a lot of these are about, like, defeating the monks by death. But the thing is, these Shaolin monks are, like, probably Buddhist. And the thing is, when you, when you kill them, they just come back. You know, they're, like, reincarnated. You're not really defeating them. And something about feeding monks when they're, like, you know, they're, they're supposed to be fasting... They're supposed to, like, not eat and all that. And when you're feeding them, you're kind of destroying their identity as monks. You know, that, that's, that's uh. kind of really powerful. That's really powerful to me. You, yeah, then yeah. they're just Shaolin monks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they they're just... Not, old, they're not hungry anymore. Well, they're, they're, just they're breaking their, their, their code or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Right. They're going. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, they, they can't even be monks anymore. They're, they're just like, oh, we, we've done a bad thing. We can't stop eating these this giant pizza that keeps growing. Right. Uh, <laughs> I think I got to give it to that. I think I got to give it to that. The other thought I had was, like, something that's pacifist. Maybe, you know, they see that, and then they just agree with it, and they calm down, but they're still hungry. They're going to die, maybe. I don't know. I think... I think Kaylee's invention is how you defeat them. All right. So oh, <laughs> now I would like a cool hand to give to me. Okay. Okay. So it's it's my turn to do the thing, right? Yep. Yeah. You draw two of the monster cards, and oh, you Oh, they're one. saying audio's cutting out again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why did you bleep fun? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having so much <laughs> right now. Whoa, TMI. <laughs> Do they hear us? I hear the sound now, so maybe they hear us. The biggest thing is. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone again. If you are good at sound effects. <laughs> I just happened to. I was like, as soon as it was like, you can't use words, I was like, okay, find all the noises. <laughs> 
anything that, that can make a noise. I need a card that noises. I like the ugly sucky <laughs> Okay. Oh no. She's a gremlin. I love her. All right, now we, now we draw some cards. Yeah. So wait, do I deal? How do I do that? Oh, someone um, else is doing it. Cool. Three? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. I get it. I think you were drawing from the discard in those last two. I must have accidentally tapped them. Did I do that? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, no. Okay. Wait. I want to not do that. Um. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to put them back. No problem. They don't make it easy. Ugh. Short. Arm. This? Yeah. I think I got like that. Oh well, that's okay. I can. Okay. Move. Yeah. Move. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's there's the choppy music. Wait. Yeah. It's back. Is that it? Huh? No. Oh. I thought that was it for a second. When I joined this call, Kyle very confidently said, I fixed everything. <laughs> <laughs> These things are mysterious. I can tell he can't hear us because he would be smirking. Yeah. <laughs> I showed him OBS Ninja, though. It this worked your really fault? I really like it. It's my <laughs> fault. It, oh, it, 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 no, it's, no, it's good. Yeah, He's it, just it stressing when, his system to the top when he, limits. When he said, like, we're going to do this thing called OBS Ninja, I was like, oh, yeah, we've been using that for months. I told you about it. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna get a beer real quick. Yeah, it's probably a good time, you know, you wanna go get a drink, hit the bathroom, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> we should really get one of those, like, technical difficulty... We have one! We have the donut. Please stand by. We need to make more use of that. Just like... Do, 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 do. Yeah. Please stand by. Do, do, do. And yeah, then it's like a little have... animated Kyle, like yes. running we with a computer to... and his computer's on fire. <laughs> ah. that, I'm gonna make that. You should. We got green screens. We can make some cool stuff. We need to put it together. Oh, I want to do it like old school cartoon style though. That'd be cool. Dun 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 dun. Oh man, this one's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's tough. I'm looking at my cards, trying to formulate a plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be grasping at straws here. Not going to lie. What? I'm talking to Linda in chat. What, what did I give you ideas about? <gasps> if you can hear me. Faye, what's your favorite color? It's blue! Ice blue! Blue! Zero, zero, CC, FF, or lighter? You got your hex code down. Get the hex code down. I didn't tell you have a favorite color. <laughs> the mug? I drank all my mug. I need to refill it. 
Yeah, same. That's why I had to get another Rattler. You can't really see very well. I but Kyle got us these these custom etched mugs. Wow, with our where's logo. mine? What? You're <laughs> November. Really? November. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, Never mind. U.S. He's... 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 Like, listen... Come on. There's all... You should know, and if you come into the gate with a checked bag, and you know, that's you, that's on you. <laughs> Pretty much, he's not wrong. What is this bingo square thing? Oh, so Kyle does um, a random bingo card that you can generate. I don't know where. I think there's a link. There's a hashtag or an exclamation mark code you can do. Maybe just yeah, there it is. Just bingo. Yep. Exclamation oh. bingo. And it'll give you a link and you'll go to a website. Uh-huh. And it gives you all sorts of fun bingo things that we do because... Oh, was one of them me saying my favorite color? <laughs> I don't think so. so okay. It's a uh, technical <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. Things on there. Hey, I'm Eric to take the gas. Oh, the gas. I like. like uh, there's, a, there's um. What's blue your format? I like. It's a version, but people. This is now a Magic the Games. All about why, like, I come. This one, Ringo. Yeah. I play it. Uh, you get a hundred cards, uh, and they can be from almost every era of Magic the Gathering, which is nice. Uh, you get a hundred cards. And you get, um, uh, but all the cards have to be different from one another. Uh, so it, you get, and so you can do some really crazy combos. Like, that sounds uh, like, fun already. Like, like my deck that's all cats. Ah. Wow. Wait, oh, you, you build it. So you have yeah, to construct you, well, it still. Yeah, they have pre-built ones. Like, this one is a pre-built one that I, that oh. I modified a See, little bit. See, so as someone that doesn't know enough about yeah, MTG... Did that's what. But it. it, it yeah. And I know how to play around everyone else's thing, or what? Like we're all on the same page because we're all drafting from the same set. But when you introduce everything else, that's yeah. when I'm like, I don't know. It's too yeah. And you get for but it's fun. The hard to do. Yeah. Um. I've heard of. There. I think I've heard of that. It's okay. It's like some some weird like anime game. Well, I guess people really like it. Um. But I had I had some friends who were getting into it, and I just wanted to play along. So, uh, I, I looked up what a strong deck was, and then I ended up buying it and paying way too much money to get the right cards, and then they didn't want to play with me because I've just built a... ...but... ...attempt at... ...game... ...I don't know... ...manga... ...it's... ...people... ...playing, and... ...it goes the rule... I was left. 
play with them, but I, I, but I wouldn't be. Yeah. I didn't buy it. Wouldn't be. That. I bust. on for. But. Player. Yeah. It's it, like we you combo like feel all this amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Aww. apparently really keeps this bingo shit up to date because there's some really recent stuff in here and including Kyle there is, there is actually a bingo spot for Faye mentions the color blue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is that why. Is, that is actually because someone on said my bingo uh, I got a bingo th like after after I said it, <laughs> but they baited me. They, they asked me. I do have. You I freely have... gave. It. True. Oh. Yeah. Odds. <laughs> We are in My big mention. Uh, I don't think I've done that. Scripting and tabletop breaks. Eric wins is a big one I have. Um, someone eats on camera. I already did that one today. Oh, I, I did that. The whole ass hostess cake in my mouth. So. Kyle adjusts the layout on stream. <laughs> Uh, Kyle asks if someone does something to. Oh, Kyle reminds someone to do something on their turn before the turn is ended. <laughs> I like the bingo card idea. That's fun. It's just a lot of. Dustin forgets to unmute his microphone. That one. Oh, I got that one. one. Ah. I got that one. Someone talks to someone who's not on the show or in the chat. That we all did that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and we're working on the show takes longer than three hours. So. <laughs> I'll bet. I'm gonna get lots of bingos tonight. <laughs> oh, I should have done my bingo card. I didn't know. You can say uh, if you look at bingo in the chat. Nah, that sounds like a lot of work though. I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> test, test. All right, my audio is working. Let's get everybody back in the call now. A few seconds and right. he's not changed. I don't know if he was changing anything actively, but his camera's a little laggy too. We should do a game show where we show numbers on the stream. That could be, be fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> 10. <laughs> 6.5. Faye picks her nose with. What? <laughs> it's been there the whole time. <laughs> I. <laughs> chat i have a habit of looking at the chat and not anything else because i know what i'm streaming <laughs> i haven't so... looked at the chat yet because wait that's been there the whole I'm time really... that's so funny I, yeah I'm usually really bad about <laughs> i made it bigger though chat. like five minutes ago <laughs> That is correct, Linda. When you can hear everyone, I can't hear anything. Uh, and they can't hear me either. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Please work. Yeah, he's got a hybrid digital like environment with also like actual like recording equipment. I see. I see. That's why I just got a GoXLR so I can do whatever I want, baby. He's, 
<laughs> oh, I have one. I I just got one of those. I need You're someone great. to help me figure out how to set it up, though. They they're not easy to find. I've been keeping an eye on them. But yeah, they're usually yeah. it took me like very hard to find. a few months for mine to for to attack. Here I am. As soon as, I think, as soon as I close all the camera feeds, everything's fine. Uh, why? Why do you hate me, OBS Ninja? I want you to work so much. Bad memory. Bad memory. Bad memory. Get to where I can talk to them. Uh, or where I can hear them. Hi, guys. Have you been have you been able to hear me the whole time? Seriously? I didn't think so. No. Yeah, just whenever I whenever I do the thing that that makes it so that nobody can see any of us. Uh so I don't think they can hear you right now. Get uh guys, they can only hear me. I'm going to pitch that we try <laughs> fake. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, let me try one more idea. <laughs> oh, God. So that failed miserably. Uh, uh, cool. So, let's get into a Discord call. How about that? <laughs> and I'm going to abandon OBS Ninja for every show until I have a better graphics card. <sighs> I need a 30 series. Yeah, I need a 30 series real bad. In this thread, they bump the buffers from 512 to 1024, but not sure if your system is similar. I don't think the buffer settings are the problem. I think, yeah, I think my machine is just overtaxed with all these ingests because, because of the fact that I can't render using my graphics card for the stream. I can only render using my, my processor, so. My processor's working overtime. Uh, okay. Let's get a Discord call going. <laughs> oh, I have to re- I, Right, I closed Discord thinking that if I closed everything I didn't need, 
It might fix things. <laughs> Eric, Eric, Faye. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not friends on Discord with. I'm not friends on Discord with Faye or Kaylee. Yes, that's right. That's right. Uh, I think it's that one. Yeah, got it, got it. Add friend. Add friend. Add Eric. Eric. Faye. What graphics card am I using right now? A 1070, Gragafa. That's what I'm using. It was... It's just old. It's just old. Yes, Funky Fly Guy, that's exactly what's going on, is because I can't render for the stream using my graphics card, because it's too old to handle that and the games. Uh, the stream is rendering using a CPU, which is not ideal. And so the CPU is overtaxed doing that instead of doing the things that it should be doing. Kaylee, are you logging into Discord right now? Why can't... Or, oh, did you get my friend request? Please. Yeah, yeah. Faye picks her nose when she turns the camera off. Faye is picking her nose the entire time that this is happening right now. <laughs> okay creating group dm starting a video call with these people popping that out and i am... close this yes other thing hello hello oh. all right wait people can I at least hear wrong... everybody right now headphones and <laughs> do you need us to be on camera i wouldn't mind it i'm gonna i'm gonna, gonna slowly well, i'm gonna slowly yeah. take some made. yeah we're gonna go he's gonna put us all on camera he's late can you not hear me party? wow sounds just like kyle what a chat oh hey you have to be on voice <laughs> activity for people to hear you Okay, um, I was like, I'm oh, hoping that it's wrong. just a quick setting this and not one. something breaking. Anymore. No, I just have to turn my yeah. stuff on. Oh, hey, come on. Come back here, camera. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to try and I'm going to slowly work on getting our camera feeds ingested again to the stream while we continue to play. Where were we? What if we just didn't? What? Uh, 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 oh, do the camera feeds? Yeah. Ugly succubus. Kaylee, just about... Kaylee put down an ugly... Oh, we're starting. You were actually about to start pitching. Was... Okay, gotcha. Oh, we got a dono! Thank you for the dono! From Tony. Dono! Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Because dono go for a new graphics card for Kyle. Uh, it's not a money issue. It's an issue of availability. There's nothing available anywhere. <laughs> All right, everybody but give I up their it. 30 series. Yeah, if you've got a 30 series graphics card, I will buy it from you. Please donate. I will ship Kyle every 30 series I have. Thanks. Uh, okay, so what are we fighting? I'm fighting a... 
Is it a coven of witches? No, it's an ugly succubus. All right. Ugly succubus. That's what we're dealing with right there. An ugly succubus. Let's, I think she just has character. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do that and uh, that and uh, sure, that. Okay. So let me get these cards out here. And then I'll get a malfunction over here. All right. So. Ooh. To fight this ugly succubus, uh, <laughs> we're going to use, for starters, a pony-sized My Little Pony doll. Because who would not be terrified of a pony-sized My Little Pony doll? I know I would. And that's just a... What? <laughs> what were you going to say? A full-sized pony, not a little pony. <laughs> yeah. It's, <Right>? it's, a, <laughs> it's my full-sized pony <laughs> doll. <laughs> Sounds kind of cute, actually. Like, but to be fair, I like, don't know if she'll see it. Like little Sebastian. Uh, so, so, oh, I love little Sebastian. This, <laughs> this full size, yeah, Sebastian. this full size My Little Pony doll is is uh is gonna come out to face off against the ugly succubus, uh, using thoughts and prayers, because oh. I mean, okay. prayer is obviously. An ugly succubus. <laughs> she's a very ugly succubus too. No, no offense to her, but uh, yeah, she's she's not not much to look at there. Uh, I, <laughs> so the, the prayers. I feel like it's a lot. The thoughts and prayers are gonna are gonna deal with her for sure. And uh, while they're while they're drawing her attention and pissing her off and scaring her with the with the from the giant My Little Pony doll that's that's hurling thoughts and prayers at her. Uh, it's gonna reveal that that uh, there's there's mirrors all over the My Little Pony doll. So the ugly succubus is going to see herself, and uh, and just be horrified and wither away into dust. That's that's the the grand scheme here. That's sad. Oh no, uh, that's so sad. The, <laughs> the only problem is that uh, is that it's it's a little slow. The My Little Pony doll is is slow. Uh, by just because of the fact that it's it's dealing with a crippling financial debt, so everything yeah. is just licensing magnified. on that. Oh. Like, after the cartoon series blew up and the bronies, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that shit cost. That that's shit cost. Exactly right. Uh, yeah, I think that's something that millennials uh, like understand, though. So yeah, cr you know. crippling debt. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and my little crippling yeah. debt and my little and pony my are little millennials. Pony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. You really got the it. staples got of it. being a millennial. <laughs> I think that the mirrors are important too because look at her eyes. She she clearly can't see anything in front of her. Yeah. So oh, she has mirrors, no. maybe she can see. Yeah, as long as they're all around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. It's like a horse. Mostly she Eric, what do you got for us? <laughs> okay. Well, what I got for you is what something that everyone wants no matter who you are flying carpet all right that's just okay. the base level flying carpet isn't that impressive you can get anywhere go anywhere anything you want to do uh now this this flying carpet is not powered by magic or wishes or anything like that it is actually powered uh no wrong one it is powered <laughs> by uh it runs on uh the relentless power of heavy metal which oh, I feel I like, like as a, as a succubus, Ooh. she would be drawn to. She would be like, what's this mm. this heavy metal flying carpet? What's going on? I need to know more. So yeah. heavy metal flying carpet comes by, and she's investigating. And then, wham, that's when the grappling hook grabs her. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah, got him. I like got it. Him. And then Didn't see that coming. Flying, takes off flying, heads just all I'm getting a very things. Aladdin meets Mad Max vibe. Yeah, like it. Hollywood's gonna love it. Like yeah, it. it's it's the reboot we've all been waiting for. Uh, there have been some problems in in testing uh, that the pilot is Kyle's parents. What? Happy? It's it's Tom and Ellen McCarley. <laughs> so that that's the only one downside is that your parents have to fly it. Uh, but apart from that, it's great. It's it's compact. It's whimsical, and it doesn't body shame like Kyle's thing does. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Look, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, why am I on the 
I'm on there. I just I popped up laughing on the stream. That was funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, dogs! I'm sorry. Yes, I'm dog. muting. All right. All right. Puppy. So, I laid these cards out way before the break, and I have no idea what I put down, but I'm gonna go with it. That's gonna be great. We like a good mystery. Woo! And I decided I wanted to be surprised as everyone else. Whoa. All right. I have, for the ugly succubus, I have a blow-up cuddle doll. All right. So maybe what the ugly succubus is really just looking for is a little companionship, okay? And uh, here, this is this is uh, battery-powered because, yeah, of course. Okay, listen. Uh, and But here's the secret <laughs> catch, okay? Uh... <laughs> A poison <laughs> blow dart is uh, oh. secretly hidden somewhere inside this cuddle doll, and it could go off at any moment, and it would render the ugly succubus completely done with. In case, in case you know, maybe maybe we can defuse the situation with the cuddling, but just in case, we also have it armed with a poison dart. However, you can't tell if the monster is really small or really far away. So I have. <laughs> the, the reason I have these giant glasses is not for my stylish looks, but it's actually because I have terrible depth perception. And I can't tell if that monster is it's a really tiny succubus. That's or a true she's story. Just like, over I that see. way. Interesting. Check so, it out. Check it out. Basically, your blow dart could just blow up the blow up cuddle doll, and then your whole plane's just. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, that has happened in some in majority of tests. <laughs> <laughs> but we assume that in a, in, a, in a real life in a real life situation, we assume the dart would not do that. <laughs> yeah, it seems so. Based on out. based on no science, based on no science. It's yeah, yeah, it checks out. It's an ugly succubus. Science isn't really the issue. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I defer to Dustin. <laughs> Oh, oh, we've got we've got an invention for you today here. So the guy is down at the shop, and we've been working real hard on this one. Um, so we, we figured we'd start it off by luring in the succubus <coughs> with a bunk bed. All right. Uh -huh. um, so there is a, uh, a, a male uh, gentleman in, in the bunk bed um, <laughs> used as bait to lure the, uh, the succubus in, as you all know how succubus works. Um, so this thing, I how is it don't. powered? Can you explain it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sexy town, evil, real bad. So uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more because this bunk bed is powered by the strength of Mark Zuckerberg's bank balance, which is pretty big, but is also evil. And how do you fight evil? With more evil, okay? So we're, we're already ahead here. Um, and we, for science, we decided to uh, go ahead and just toss on a miniature black hole launcher. For uh, we had extra budget, we thought it would be cool. And how else, you know, are you gonna get rid of a uh, demonic succubus? I mean, when you got Mark black Zuckerberg's hole. entire bank balance, like yeah, yeah, it's just, we were we were funded, okay. Uh, but there was some issues that came up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about those right now. Uh, my invention is held together with parcel tape. So we spent a little too much on the black hole launcher on early in on the project and we had to finish it all up with some parcel tape. But it's fine, it'll hold together. It's pretty sturdy wood. It'll be fine. Okay, so my my concern though is like it's a bunk bed and there's there's a gentleman. Isn't she just gonna assume it's another one of those oh I thought we were just friends situations and she'll just go in the other bunk? I mean, ooh, that's ooh. a solid. Good, that's a good. Uh, what's in the we didn't other think about bunk? that one. What's in the other bunk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the black hole, but like the oh. gravity, of the black hole. I don't know if something held together with parcel tape is gonna. Yeah, because if we're assuming that this succubus has like you know problems, just like like feeling you know insecure about things, like mm -hmm. she might go to the bottom, the other bunk, and be like, "I'll just sleep here." You know, that's why we did the bunk bed, you know, just in case. We got our bases covered. If just that's one bed fair, and, a, yeah. and, a, and a dude in there is too intimidating, come on to this empty bed. That's fine. There's not a uh, black hole launcher under the pillow. Uh-uh. Yeah. Okay. There is a black hole launcher under the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
All right. I haven't I haven't gotten a card yet. I'm going for it, okay? This is the one. This is the one right here. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Intimidated. So we're up against an ugly succubus. I think what this succubus needs is a little companionship, a little bit of love from the Statue of Liberty's less attractive sister. They're both feeling, you know, <laughs> a little down on themselves because society tells them that they're not pretty. Yeah, but you why know did what? They get those labels. Even though, yeah, even though, you know, she's got natural gas. This is like all natural, right? She's here in her true form, here in her true form, and she's got a, she's got a, a. Uh, with with her freeze ray, she will stop. <laughs> <laughs> With her freeze ray, she will find the time to find the words to tell her how, yeah. how she feels. Yeah, we, we got it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but <laughs> the issue is, uh, th th this thing that, uh, th it was everything the invention does is narr narrated by David Attenborough, but that that's not so bad. That's a beautiful story. <laughs> That doesn't sound like a malfunction at no, all. No, not even yeah, a little bit. That's, that's a feature. I paid more for that. It's an adventure. And now and so we see the statue <laughs> of liberties. And, and, their, and the sister. ugly succubus's story comes to an end and we'll never see them again. But she's happy somewhere else. The end. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was a roller coaster. It was. Yes. Yeah. Roller coaster <laughs> of emotions. <laughs> Everyone had such a different way of dealing with yeah. it. Like, there yeah. was an entire story to be found in each one. <laughs> but but in the end, I'm going to choose this one because I feel like as an ugly succubus, she's had such a struggle in life. And that if she can find friendship at the end, that it's beautiful. With, with a freeze yeah. ray. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but like, she's frozen forever in, in her friendship. <laughs> yeah. she feels understood. Uh, look at these little lines right here. Like she's powered by natural gas. She's got that going on, so yeah. like, you know it's gonna work. Yeah. Based. <laughs> and then we have this narration, which some people might have a problem with, but I don't. And she doesn't because she's frozen. So, uh... I wish it said Kyle McCarley though. Exactly. Uh, narrated by Kyle McCarley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. But that could never be a malfunction. <laughs> oh, true. True. Adventures of Tony from the chat says the cold never bothered her anyway. Oh, I, I get it. I like it. I, I like, get it. Jokes. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for giving the succubus a happy ending. <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay. Pour one gonna, out. Before pour one out. before I uh, before I decide on my uh, my monster, we're gonna we're gonna roll for another buff here. Let's see what it is. Whoa. What do we got? It's me. I got a buff. You. I got a Rigged. buff. Rigged. Broken. Let's see what it is. Yeah, Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. I know. I know. Scripted. <laughs> <laughs> that says Eric. It meant Kyle. Kyle may swap one yeah! piece of his next invention with someone else's. <laughs> Oof. I don't know. It says Eric. <laughs> so, does that mean that he gets to swap with mine? Uh, well, I don't have an invention this round anyway, so. Uh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> Good buff, Kyle. I'm just going to mark that buff for later. <laughs> Or does that just mean that you get to randomly swap? Two? Or you know what? <laughs> How about this? How about we re-roll the name and we'll say somebody else gets the same buff? Ooh. Well, that's generally, yeah, I guess that is actually what we usually would have done. Viewer's choice! Whoa! Uh, nah. How are you gonna do this one, Kyle? I'm doing a poll. How are you gonna pick? Who gets to swap one piece of their invention? With someone else's. Banana katana. Eric, Eric, Dustin, Faye, or Kaylee. One minute on the oh, clock wait. on the pole, oh, starting right now while I choose our monster. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, definitely gonna go with this one. So, 
I could have gone with uh, your first teacher as the monster, but instead, I'm gonna go with a huge hermit crab that wants to make your invention its house. Whoa! Interesting. Our Twitch poll's That's broken cute. right I now. I like the drawing. No, just the overlay. Oh no, it's there. It's there. It's just something's weird with that. Okay, anyway. Yeah. So a huge hermit crab that wants to make your invention its house. That is the monster. Uh, and we go to mostly Eric first. What do you got? Uh, I don't have enough weapons. Let me just shuffle this and draw one more. See what that is. Okay, what I got for you. All right. We're going to go with, he wants a house. Here you go. Trojan horse. He comes up to my house. He Ooh. thinks, oh, here it is. Here's the house. It's shaped like a horse. That's weird. Whatever. I want to get in there. Anyways, he's all ready to go. This it's a house, trap. Though, this house, like most houses that I have been in, is powered uh, by lots of swearing, <laughs> as it as it would want to be. Uh, and when he gets in there, uh, you know, a lot, there are a lot of different weapons that one can use against a a giant crab that wants to steal your house. But I think the as we all know, rightly so, the only thing that you can counter a huge hermit crab with is an angry goose. Nothing is going to stop an angry goose. It is the ultimate oh. weapon. Yeah. There has been some problems, though. Uh, the pilot has had a really long, tangled beard. So that, that can kind of... <laughs> he's been in that horse for a while. He's been in that horse for a good long while. But, you know, if you're okay with that, he's going to throw some geese in. Oh, I forgot to draw. <laughs> I don't, what's, is it three? Yeah, three. Each. Yeah, three of each. Uh, and also, Faye, the viewers chose yeah. you as getting the buff. So when we get around to you playing what? your invention, you can swap one piece. Of, or actually, I'll say after the whole round is done, after everybody's played their cards and, and pitched their weapons, you can, if you choose, swap a piece of your invention with someone else's. Not a malfunction, but one of the other three. So you can, okay. You can steal a piece afterwards if you think it suits you better. For this round, right? Yeah, just this round. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Thank you, guys. Here's the Eric's pitch. And I'm using words this time. Yeah. I'm so disappointed right. about that. <laughs> Listen, the cards only aligned set one time. It would never have worked out again. It would have been like... <laughs> With no words, evoke the emotion that you feel at sunset. Um, anyway, uh, my card is okay. So I have a carnival float. So this giant hermit crab thing is going to be looking for a home. Well, it just so happens that I know a guy that works uh, at the rose parade, and they got a lot of floats sitting around with no use because there's no parades anymore. And guess what? Uh, this hermit crab is going to try and crawl into this giant carnival float. However, it's powered by seagulls on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> seagulls? And, and they, they're just constantly running on this treadmill. And this, so this, this giant hermit crab is going to come in and our uh, carnival float is conveniently shaped like a giant conch shell. So... He's going to oh. want to naturally crawl into that. And oh. uh, the seagulls are going to be running after it, trying to eat this giant hermit crab because that's their dream. And just like me from before, they don't really know if it's a giant crab or if it's just really close. So they're going to just keep <laughs> chasing it. Now, however, inside like you. inside this, this, this giant uh, carnival float that the crab is living in, I have the holy hand grenade of Antioch. Now, Whoa. included with the holy hand grenade, there does come the instruction manual, and I can read a little bit from that if you need to. Um, uh, yes, please. To I need sure to hear to that, yeah. Pin, and you need to count not once, not not twice, not thrice, uh, but five times <laughs> you need to count. No, five um, is right out there. Oh, yes, maybe uh, um, it's right next to five that you need to count. Um, <laughs> however... Three was the number, and the number was three. <laughs> Your invention has a loud alarm going off constantly, and you can't stop it. 
Now, I don't have the keys. And I swear that this is legit, but I swear, but, but the alarm is going off. And, <laughs> and if the cops ask about it, we were here all afternoon pitching to you, so. <laughs> he just got up and walked away in my pitch. I do not feel confident about how this is going. It was not a good pitch, Eric. <laughs> not not good. Good. Just up I was still listening. I was still listening. <laughs> oh. Jeez, do you know how many job interviews you just reminded me of? <laughs> 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 Yikes. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, I guess dust you is know, going. I, I liked it. I liked it. The the alarm the alarm raises some alarm bells, but you know, we'll 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 see. Literally? Cause I can't hear you over the the boop boop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which may actually run the crab away, but we'll see. Right. <laughs> All right, so I, I told the boys down at the lab to go ahead and whip up a massive hermit crab shell to uh, to lure him into. But the best they could come up with uh, due to some drunken shenanigans was a massive snail shell. So I don't know what was going on there. Uh, but, you know, ironically enough, it actually runs on gin, too. Um, so they just did a whole <laughs> number on this thing. Okay. Um, and apparently Jerry thought it was going to be funny to uh, equip it with a pipe organ that can play the brown note. So oh, we just kind of Jerry. <laughs> so Typical Jerry. Been enlisted. Ah. Jerry's the pilot on this one because it was his idea. So he's going to sit on the, uh, the pipe organ, and after the giant hermit crab takes up home ownership, starts moving things in, you know, gets it nice and set up. <laughs> He's just going to go to town on that brown note, you know? And the, to the hermit crab is going to be like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You know? He's not going to clean <laughs> that up. He's going to be out of there. He's gone for good. D uh, point of point of order, does the brown note also affect Jerry? Uh, yes, oh. no. Oh, of course. Of course it does. <laughs> okay, That's why okay. we made Jerry go. It was yeah. his idea. We aren't doing that. We're not doing it. <laughs> okay, we put cool. Jerry on a cleanse two weeks ago. It's okay. <laughs> oh. ain't nothing all right so but we did have a couple things come up in in, in testing um <laughs> that's an fcc <laughs> oh, no. violation no yeah fcc's gonna TV. have a field day with this <laughs> <laughs> that's a big malfunction <laughs> it's what it is you better make the first time count then. Yeah, seriously. Uh, Oof. Before all those fines kick in. All right. You want us to get? You want us to get sued? We'll get it in post. Next we'll edition. Post. <laughs> okay. 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 So we're dealing with a huge hermit crab that wants to make your invention its house. Right. So, what if that house was so appealing, like? Like a life-sized wooden replica of a Batmobile. Ooh, yeah. How cool is that? Who wouldn't want to live Crab in that? Crab wants to make that. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a whole house. Okay. It is it, it is powered by... Uh, uh, it is moved by the pilot's telekinetic powers. Okay. Uh, so it's like... Uh, uh, it, you could like... I don't know. The pilot can move it around. It could float. This crab can fly. It's so appealing. Uh -huh. But... Unfortunately, oh, but it's it has uncontained uranium, so that crab's just burning up, and it's gonna get cancer. It's gonna die. <laughs> okay, so it's a slow and, play. But, it's gonna. It's, <laughs> you're gonna. It's you're living. Gonna kill it with you know, it's, it's it's living. It's, it's, I mean, you know, it, it could decay in there, uh, but but the, here's the issue with this. It, it's just that the invention is plagued with rumors. I guess. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, um, Oops. I'm not sure how it affects this, but, uh, because it doesn't really stop the uranium from killing the crab from... Well, yeah, from everybody's inside, talking about how, like... doesn't even notice how it's dying. Yeah, everybody's like, hey, did you yeah. see that life-size wooden replica of the Batmobile? Yeah, I heard yeah. it has your uncontained uranium in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't know, or, or yeah. No, nah, dude, they I think didn't even... I heard it's not even made out of wood. It's like an optical <laughs> illusion. <laughs> Right, but but the crab is just loving that that he's just like he's got he's got the the drip in the Batmobile. This is so cool. Uh huh. And so so it's just staying in there, not realizing it's dying. Does he have five G too? It's got five G. Five G from the uranium. Fun guys got five G. Just like growing a twentieth leg. 
<laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. All right. <laughs> All right, Kaylee. <laughs> Bring it home. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's a wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man. Because what's going to get your attention like a wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man? I yeah. know that I couldn't Ooh. stop myself from going over to a wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it's fueled by lemon juice. He doesn't Whoa. know that it's fueled by lemon juice, but we all know that crab is delicious uh -huh. with yeah. lemon juice. <laughs> True. <laughs> so we're gonna. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Look, we're, okay. we're prepping our meal. I think I already. see where we're going here. Yeah. Like we're we're ahead of the times here. Um, and then we have a flaming swing ball come in. You know, swing balls are normal things that you find at beaches at parks. So it's right. assuming at first that it was even be around, and it's flaming. So what happens when it hits you? Cracks the shell open, cooks the meat, already got lemon juice on it. Crab fry. Mmm. Mm, that's tasty. Food. Tasty. The only problem that we have here is that I don't know how to spin a cart. Um, <laughs> my my invention and its pilot are blind, so there might be casualties. <laughs> but right. if you're getting amazing fresh <laughs> crab on the beach, like, you, you gotta just have some sacrifice. Yeah, you know? a lot of crab too. I it's a do, lot of crab. I do like crab. Yeah, yeah, and it would be a lot of crab. It'd be more crab than I could possibly eat. Uh, a lot of crab. Oh man, this is a <laughs> tough call, guys. That's delicious. Uh, it's it's a really tough call. I I I I I I. When can I use the swap? Oh, you can use it oh, now. Yeah, wait. yeah, yeah. I forgot. You can swap okay. any one of your any one of your three main pieces, not the malfunction. You're stuck with that one. Okay. I I think Kaylee's is the biggest threat. That's what I see. I knew you were gonna sabotage me. I'm sorry, I have to. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take your the the cooking thing and put it in the wooden horse. Or I mean wooden uh Batmobile. Oh, so it's too cool. It's not gonna leave. So now you don't it's, have the. It's gonna be on fire. You don't have the yeah, uncontained now... uranium anymore. No, so I don't. The wacky, mm -hmm. the wacky inflatable guy with uranium, but the Batmobile is now on fire, and it's on flaming it's... inferno. But it's its home. It's its home. So it's stuck inside a wooden thing that's just gonna cook it. I like that. Sorry, uh, Kaylee. I didn't okay. Take that one. I mean, uranium technically would cook it too, and also a we lot established slower. that the uranium gives us five G. <laughs> so I can slower. just Amazon a grill over, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. All right. All right. One of them is just a lot slower, though. <laughs> uh, oh man, this is a tough call. Uh, I think. Uh... <laughs> I think uh, I think what I'm gonna have to go with though, just because of the synergy, I'm a little I'm a little disturbed by the malfunction on this one, and I'm afraid that it's gonna end up costing me a <laughs> oh, lot of no. money. But uh, but I I have to go with the massive snail shell that runs on Jim Jim <laughs> or the pipe organ that can play the brown note. That's me. That's me. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, <laughs> one. that's gotta oh, be yeah. that's gotta be the winner here. Uh, Congratulations! I'm afraid the fact that we're gonna televise it is gonna just be a big problem. But that's, yeah, that's I, I, I just that's gonna bring in extra money. Like honestly, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, you, you pay the fine. You're going viral. The you ad sales viral. will yeah. more than really, make up for it. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's. That's not really, for crabs. Really concerned about your affinity for poo poo this game. <laughs> that's a lot. True. Uh, <laughs> you learn a few things about people in these kind of games. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, everybody's had a turn as the monster. By the rules, we play it till somebody has three monsters, but we could call it here. I know it's getting kind of late, especially after all the issues that I had. How are you guys feeling? Difficulties. Faye, Kaylee. Uh oh. How you? Uh -oh. What? No Did we all just talk. get really quiet? Yeah, everybody's <laughs> quiet. I was like, Did I break it again? What happened? Nobody wants to be called on by teacher. <laughs> I'm cool uh, for at least one or two more. All right, we'll go for a couple more hands. Yeah. I think. Yeah, let's go around again. 
Two more, two more. We can do two more. Kyle technically started, so technically we've already started on the second round. Oh wait, was that no? No, no, no Eric was... started. Yeah, that no, was wait, that was our did. first time oh, around the did. table. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was the first time. That was yeah, the first yeah, time yeah. around the table. Yeah. Everything takes way longer than it should on this show. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, especially when everything breaks. Oh yeah, there was like a whole intermission kind of thing. We there. That's fine. We can go around again. Fact. Let's just go around one more time. <laughs> that is fine. Or until when somebody gets three. Get yeah. Whenever. But I do want to grab. Feel free to, to say we're like. Yeah. Yeah. Tap out whenever. I want to grab a snack. I want to grab a snack. All right, go for it. <laughs> Done. Be right back. Eric's gonna review his cards anyway. I've got. I've got. Bop, mine, bop, so. bop. Oh, did I ruin it? It doesn't matter. Uh, a little, but it's okay. I'll fix it. I'll fix it in a sec. <laughs> ruin it. All right. Everyone may pick their, draw their cards. Oh right. Can you draw no, for me? A... <laughs> what? Si vous plaît. Yes. Can you draw for me, please? She wants you to. Thank you. Any funions there. Don't you got any funions? me. No, oh, you're in the tavern getting drunk. <laughs> I want to cast magic missile. Well, if there are any girls there, I want to do them. <laughs> <laughs> you're not there. You're in the tavern getting drunk. Is it fixed now? It's fixed. Thank ah, you. Ah, excellent. Yeah. All One right. You, your nemesis this round is a huge snake which can pacify you with its gaze. Can petrify you with its gaze. Petrify. So that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of a, a toughie. You're gonna have to get around the petrification. Ah. So it's like Medusa's father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -oh. Let's see. He, yeah, this snake actually it had sex with a woman that had a bunch of tiny women sticking out of her head, and then they had Medusa. Whoa! <laughs> Not a lot of people wow. know that's the story of Medusa. That's, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, you learn something new every day. Thank you for sharing the lore. Yeah. Now I know. Oh this man! So insightful. All right. I guess it's my turn now. I have to present. I have, to yeah. pitch a, I have to pitch this product right now to Eric. Yep. He's he's he. I got I got Eric. He, he's a, he's a he's a he's a huge I'm snake. I'm a mover and a shaker. Can you with its gaze. I got I'm a, a lot busy of, guy. I can't I, I can't be. Stuff. I don't have time to pitch stuff to Eric. I got Wait, a standing I've seen desk. all of these green ones. Should I got I, a standing desk. Did you pull right from here. the discard pile or did you reshuffle? To business now. We had to reshuffle some I of the think, cards. Yeah, we had to. Reshuffle. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're already back. The the weapons deck we went all the way through. I know. Got it. Oh, this oh, is power yeah. sources, though. We may have finished yeah, we, that, too. Uh, yeah, we, okay. there were four left in the others. So got I it, got okay. it, got it. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I got a standing desk here, okay? I'm too mm -hmm. busy. I'm working. I'm trying to get some stuff done, okay? My, my standing desk, it's amazing. It's powered by helium, okay? I can lift it. I can lower it if I want to sit. If I get tired, I can sit down. If I, you know, if I, I got to work, back. I can just keep working. It's good. It's ergo. It's great. Okay. And then what? I got snakes now. I got to deal with snakes. Well, you know what? Bam. I got a club with a nail in it and I just deal with the snake and I go back to work. Okay. I don't have time okay. for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. The only problem, the only problem I could ever see with this is the fact that your invention is lagging. Okay. Sometimes the helium, it just doesn't go up all the way like I want. So then I'm like kind of crouched. <laughs> I'm crouched over. It's not great, okay? I will say... Your like, invention or the stream? The <laughs> standing desk will help you reach this huge snake. That's great. Love that. Helium gets you up there faster. The lag... Like, the the club with the nail in it might not be the best weapon against something that when it looks at you, it petrifies you. And the fact that it lags a little bit might also... Oh, I'm not looking sort of... at the snake. I'm whacking the snake. I'm looking at. The, I'm looking at work. I got work okay. to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Snakes multitasking. Snakes coming up on me. I'm I like just whacking I like snakes that. behind me. I like that multitasking. <laughs> and if you can put an intern in there and not pay them, even all the better. Yeah. <laughs> Exposure to snake gazes. Yeah. That petrify you. Free. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, they said they said that the job came with exposure that, or paid with exposure. They didn't say what kind. Yeah, yeah what, what we <laughs> yeah. meant is that you will die of exposure. Uh, <laughs> Dustin. All right. This one was a little harder um, than, than our, my previous inventions, um, but I, I think we came up with something really great, and uh, I'm really excited to share this with you guys today. So first off, we thought, how how can we get all of these extra interns, you know, to help us out on this? And we're like, you know what? Uh, gun fodder. Let, let's pop them in a bus and uh, just throw them at the <laughs> snake, you know? The, the snake can't petrify all of them. You know, we got tons. Um, and so we decided to power the whole thing, um, with the power of friendship. Uh, so all of these interns are very, very much, uh, a team and they've hazed together and they're just, they've got friendship oozing out everywhere. So the bus is going fast. I like that um, because when, when your employees are friends with each other, it makes it easier to exploit them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, that's, that's what we go for here at Dustin Inc. Um, so, and I, I, I don't know if, if we just got our facts wrong, um, but we actually installed a skunk, a skunk launcher on the, uh, the bus just in case things go awry. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I, I think it was Jerry again that suggested it. Um, Jerry. we later find out that it's actually mongooses who are good against snakes. So Jerry is getting a pay cut, but we had to stick Someone didn't it. play enough Zork. Was Jerry being paid? in the first place yeah like, uh, we not... tell him that legally legally he's getting paid jerry's not getting paid uh... <laughs> uh so we did have a couple things come up here um you mean beside from the, the fact that we're launching skunks instead of mongoose of the bus is a colony of gerbils right so w with our testing we found out uh that it's actually better you know, for having gerbils because they don't get petrified looking at the snakes, you know? They don't look them straight in the eyes. Right. Okay. I will say, um, while this doesn't solve, like, the giant uh, snake that petrifies you problem, it does help us go through interns because we have a lot of churn with our employees. Um, <laughs> and this way, we don't have to worry about NDAs because they're all going to be petrified by a snake, so... But this is like tax that. deductible, too. Tax deductible. Just yeah, remember right. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that how Amazon does it? Yeah, probably. Pretty sure. We copied yeah. their business model. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I had to swap my headphones because they were dying. Oh, no. <gasps> That's okay. I have these other ones as a backup. <laughs> All right, Faye, well, what, what's, what's your tell invention? Tell me about your invention. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> so we're dealing with a huge snake which can petrify you with its gaze. Well, I got a... Uh, I got a... A giant stone head. You know, they're gonna do a staring contest, okay? It yeah, can't petrify stone, it's already stuck mm, down. That's right. Mm, it's thinking. Correct. It's yep. And it's powered by the strength of Mark Zuckerberg's bank balance. <laughs> so, you know, it's pretty high tech. It's got yeah. it's got some stuff on there. You know? Yeah. Not not quite as high as Elon's, not, not really but still it. it's, it's up there. Yeah, not, not quite as high. Not quite as high. But it's, <laughs> Pretty good. Giant good enough to, head to Mark Zuckerberg's to... head. <laughs> so past ones, you know, I try to get all cute and stuff, but no, this is raw power here. It's a bazooka, but it shoots bowling balls. Uh, yeah. But the thing is, uh, the adventure is full of snakes. Oh, oh no. you know, it's just baiting. <laughs> it's just like, oh look, it is friend. It is friend full of snakes, and also giant stone head for for doing staring contest, but you cannot do stare contest and win against Bazooka. So <laughs> it blows it up yeah. at the end. Yeah. I will say, yeah, that um, the, the giant stone head can't be petrified uh, and then firing balls of stone at it, which can also not be petrified. Great. Uh, the snakes with inside, I, I worry that there will be some, some <laughs> conflict between the snakes about uh, whether or not they should take out what is clearly their their leader, but you know we can cover that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> well, I mean they're not. It, it's a malfunction, right? But it, it's not really powered. Yeah, by we'll it. fix that. It, we'll they're fix they're that. being held hostage. It's it's the bait. Yeah, the yeah. Bait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to save your friends? Come a little closer. <laughs> Stare at them. 
stare at me, giant stone head. <laughs> All right, Kaylee. <laughs> All right. So I totally agree with that. Like, we should be using stone to fight stone because it can't be petrified. And we got the Sphinx. It's like the ultimate stone. It's way cooler mm -hmm. than any other stones. And, uh, like, okay, if you had, like, a normal lion-type creature versus a snake, the lion-type creature is going to win. So I figure if you have, like, a rock lion-type creature against a, a snake that makes things rocks, mm -hmm. still going to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like the power scaling is the same, so. Gotcha. Uh-huh. And it runs on festive cheer. Um, if you see a sphinx going at it to, like, a snake... You're gonna be cheering, so there's gonna be cheers not only from you, like you could totally power it yourself, just screaming constantly, um, but you have everyone around you cheering you on constantly. And the snake can't petrify everyone. And if it does, then it's looking away from the Sphinx as you close your eyes and scream, and the Sphinx is just gonna destroy you. <laughs> I know you're, I know I'm competing against you, but I will have to say that I recently watched Godzilla versus Kong, and. You do just want to cheer sometimes when you're watching big monsters fight each other. Yeah, I yeah. love bloodshed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and stone shed. And you know, just to cover our bases here, there's a flamethrower. Snakes don't like freaking flamethrowers. They don't like fire. Have you ever seen a snake be set on fire and enjoy it? No. <laughs> I, I, no. You know, I can't say the, I've yeah, ever seen the, that in my life. Yeah. That's of true, the that's many true. times I've seen a snake set on fire which is abundant not a <laughs> one of them were they enjoying it <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> uh, the only possible problem that we could run into is that uh the invention's the size of a mouse oh yeah, no I that being a big problem <laughs> yeah no. no it's not a big problem no it's a very it's little problem the size of a mouse. <laughs> it's a tiny sphinx <laughs> so you still you still have a flamethrower <laughs> but it's, but it's a very light. small one. See? <laughs> it's a lighter. I, yeah, I think they call that a lighter, yeah. Butane. <laughs> I don't know. Like you still but it's still a flamethrower. Even if it's small, <laughs> the way that it works is like it's not just a lighter. Because yeah, you have like the, the part that goes like too. It's still a pretty good amount of fire. Right? And and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. It's powered by best of cheer. Yeah. At the very worst, like, it still hurts, right? Like, bigger if cheer, a bigger flame fire. your fingers, like, would you like that? No, no you'd be distracted not. by it. <laughs> and it would hurt. Uh, you know what the show the needed was more bagpipes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That counts as best of cheer, too. It does. So, you know. <laughs> it does. All right, so uh, I I think Kayla, you were you were really onto something there until the until the the, the weapon shrunk yeah. to the size of a mouse. I was saying that's, uh, that's the first time I've seen a malfunction really screw really that, yeah that's yeah. like that's my uh, my penance for like what happened with the cheese pizza thing. It's like oh yeah, yeah. I saw these cards. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful though. All right, so this huge snake <laughs> with a gaze that petrifies you is no match for a hot dog stand. Can't petrify a hot dog stand. Also, Snake's got to get hungry. He's going to see that hot dog stand. He's going to want to eat some hot dogs. That's how we lure him in. Now, it's powered. Snake eat hot dog? This hot dog stand moves around because it's floating in a giant bubble. Giant bubble floating the hot dog stand around. And the snake sees it. And it's like, oh, hey, I want to eat some hot dogs. Uh, So it tries to eat the hot dogs. It basically, it's, it's a big snake, right? It's a... Yeah, it's a huge snake. Yeah. So snake. it swallows up the whole hot dog stand. But what it doesn't know is that inside the hot dog stand, <laughs> no hot dogs. No, just a really shaken up bottle of champagne. It's going to pop that snake from the inside. That's my plan. Only problem, the invention has to be controlled with an off-brand Nintendo 64 control pad. I know you wanted to play <laughs> with the real thing, but... It's just, they're hard to find these days, you know? The uh, microchip shortage, it's a problem. It's okay, it's okay, it'll Eric still work, the I promise. Not, the only <laughs> name brand one. I just, I really mad don't cats. want to use a Mad Cat. It's like, <laughs> like, I just don't. I get it, so I'm sorry. And I will say, like, <laughs> the idea of a... killed it. 
<laughs> the idea of a sphinx fighting uh, a giant snake with a flamethrower is great, but the fact that it's the size of a mouse, I feel like is going to be very problematic. Um, Not Eric when it goes inside of the snake. True. <laughs> Eric and Dustin, I like, I, I like how you deal with the people who are involved with it and throw their lives away. But it, but neither of your inventions really solve the main focus of it, which is the snake. Um, so I'm going to have to go with Faye on this one, uh, who has the most complete uh, weapon for, oh, thank for you. defeating this Faye. Because I feel like the snakes that are inside of it will know the inner workings of the mind of the snake that they are fighting. Oh, true. Yep. Yep, that, that's what I thought of too. Haha. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Powered by Mark Zuckerberg's big belt. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Kaylee and I both got screwed by malfunctions there. Yeah. True, yep. <laughs> it was going so well. All right, so it it's really was. the Eric's turn to pick a monster. All right. You guys. <laughs> Ooh, man, both of these are pretty good. I like these. <laughs> All right, I'm going based on artwork because obviously I'm going with an army of living walking trees. Oh, no. Wait, as opposed what? to trees that aren't living? Right, <laughs> no, walking. dead walking trees. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Dead tree walking. And I had to pass on a 50-foot vampire, which was really sad. Oh, that's a good oh. one, too, yeah. But I liked a little, I liked a little tree faces going, <laughs> All right, Dustin, you're up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? What's the matter with you? That's what I'm about to These are all about. horrible. <laughs> Deal with it. I'm working on it. Okay, okay. Oh, so first off, we've got an old rusty car because, I mean, where else are you going to find an old rusty car other than out in the random forest? Uh-huh. You know? So it just started like a, it sounded like a good place to start with this thing. I do love the evil dead. Um, and then we decided since it doesn't have an engine, uh, we just rounded up a bunch of cats to go ahead and pull that car. Are they, and, are they in, are they like running like Flintstone style or are they pulling it in front like a bobsled? Um, it, it's kind of a, a combination of, of pulling, pushing, and Flintstones, uh, because some of the cats are actually driving it, mm, um, yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty cute. Um, <laughs> and cats famously <laughs> easy to herd, so. Yeah, uh, obviously. Um, and, uh, for the weapon, how do you guys clean up leaves, you know? Like, how, how do you deal with that, you know? Because there's going to be a lot of trees and leaves and they're walking around and leaving leaves everywhere. I mean, most so people in LA just use way. a leaf blower and blow them into somebody else's yard. You know, Especially we when we're trying to have blower. a session. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Every, t like a hundred percent. So you're going to use a garden well, rake. Well, we're using the silent garden rake as okay. to not cause any uh, attention <laughs> yeah. drawn to us. All here. right. Uh, but sadly, sadly, we, we had some issues with, uh, <laughs> The pilot's actually Eric, and <laughs> Eric's not that great at driving and piloting shit, so it might go awry. It's the depth perception, ride. guys. Look, I'm pretty good, but it's just the depth perception. Just Wait, you have to convince out. him to choose you, though. <laughs> All right, well, man, I have to fly your... I have to ride your your your, your garden <laughs> pilot. Yeah. Cat, your garden. Yeah, your old rusty yeah, you're car. Yeah, you're driving. With you're driving. I mean, it's a great invention to solve your problem, but you have to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's on you, guy. Here's here it is. But it's who's on you. who's but really gonna to like who's really driving if it's pulled again. by 180 degree cats? It's got a wheel, you know. You gotta <laughs> you, know, you gotta turn the wheel. The okay. cat wheel, yes. Yeah. That's one of the, okay. So it's pulled by 99 two, angry cats. Well, well, one of like them is the tie, is the steering wheel. Like yeah. Holding it like a ball of twine, <laughs> and they're yeah. like going around. 
And you can use them like a wheel. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Is it my turn? It is. Okay. Looking at this card. <laughs> Get creative here. I have to. All right. Looking at this card. It's a bunch of pine trees. Pine trees. They're, they're the pointy kind. And you know what I think of when I see those? Christmas. So the way to defeat this. Wait, do I have to show them like red first? I yes. don't know. I think I do. so. Okay. That's okay. I'll just do it in order anyway. Okay. So the base is a life-sized ship in a bottle. However, the important thing here is not the ship, but the giant bottle. Because for there to be a life-size ship in a bottle, that bottle has to be gigantic. That's a lot of glass. That's a lot of sharp material, if broken. Okay, <laughs> so uh, it is powered by the beating of war drums. Now, imagine this, like, getting the the Christian Christmas towns together and they they play you know they you play their jam the little drummer boy and they're all just joining in it's like oh yeah this is my song they're like playing this they're in the mood for some for some Christmas cheer they want to get those Christmas trees and now they're motivated to destroy those uh that that the, the trees well and and there's there's a uh, bear trap launchers so they they also have ways to just you know, keep them still. They can't. They can't come any closer. They'll. They'll just like trap them. <laughs> so the the only problem with this is that uh, the invention has a tour group on board. Oh, more of a spectacle. You know, wow. They want to see Christmas happen. Put those lights up. Take those trees down with all this glass that we are cutting them down with. Yep. And that's that's, that's how I'm going to beat the, the trees. Is it? Is it? <laughs> 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 That's what I see. <laughs> mm, yes, it's yeah. Christmas. It's Christmas time. It's gonna, gotta get the trees. Cut them down. <laughs> bear traps. The end. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> <Ba -rum -ba -tum -tum. laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have a skateboard, and they're made of wood. So this is like a friendly, you know, you're just like, okay, whatever, it's a skateboard. Uh -huh. so I'm assuming it's a friend because it's made of your friends and you're a tree. So you're too dumb to know that that's kind of messed up. <laughs> um, a bunch of trees. They're also fact. powered. Trees are they're dumb. <laughs> they're so dumb, like babies, which we'll get to, we'll get to that later. Um, <laughs> it's powered by burning old Pokemon cards, uh, which are also made from trees. So, you know, the cycle, the cycle just continues. Not um, not legally distinct Pokemon cards this time. This is the real no, thing. No, not at all. These are the real no, deals. We don't mess around here. We got straight up Pokemon button. cards. Yeah. You should put those on eBay. I know, I know, I know. Um, and there's a baby ray. It turns things into babies. Here's the things about babies. They're really dumb. They don't go very fast. And they smell really bad when they're on fire. Yeah. So you're God. either going to... Set, like you turn some of the trees into babies. Some of them will already be on fire. And some of them are, you're either going to drive all of the trees away because they don't want anything to do with the burning baby smell or they just become burning babies. And that's that. So Wait, so, all right. so this turns the trees babies. into to babies, not like into to little saplings. Like it, it doesn't reduce them younger it turns them into babies. oh yeah it turns them into babies into human got it, babies got it, got it. <laughs> yeah burning human babies it. we're gonna burn I human like babies it does not just reduce the age of anything it turns everything into a human you heard baby. it here oh, yeah, first folks. that's preferable to me actually. here at the yeah, board yeah. and barrel we endorse the burning of human babies <laughs> and, and, wow. and you know you're thinking that like there couldn't possibly be any kind of problem with that um, no i can't but, see you know, what could possibly be wrong with that um, the primary weapon failure is that the monster, oh, okay, well. Oh, okay. Uh, you get to pick a replacement weapon from, from my hand. Uh, do I just put these down or can you see I them? Guess, yeah. No, I can't see them. Uh, so. I don't know if you're supposed to, yeah, options. I guess that works. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's just a random Oh, you're picking okay. it at random? Um, so now we've just got two giant bear claws. 
But the thing is, we still have everything being on fire, and two giant bear claws and a bunch of little trees are still gonna rip through trees and set them on fire. It's not it's not as good as the babies, I get it, but it's still <laughs> pretty freaking good. <laughs> and and at least with the two giant bear claws, the forest won't smell like burning corpses for like three weeks. That's true. That's true. Bears it's, versus it's babies, that's a that's a different that. game, drumming Oni. <laughs> Close. Yeah. Made by the same guy that made Exploding Kittens. Or same guys that made Exploding Kittens. Uh. <laughs> All oh, right. You're pitching. All right. It's my turn. Uh, let's get these cards out here. Doot, doot, doot. Where's that malfunction? Okay. So. We're dealing with an army of living, walking trees. How else could you possibly fight an army of living, walking trees, but with a drill machine? Like a gigantic machine with a drill on it? It's gonna, it's gonna mo just drill right through those trees. They, it's, they don't stand a chance. Especially if that drill machine walks around on big, hairy spider legs. So, it's oh. big drill, big, hairy spider legs. Walks right into the crowd of trees with their drill spinning. It's gonna churn them all up, turn them into firewood. I'm imagining like a um, Sid from Toy Story moment where, like, yeah, yeah, just a black and decker power drill is just attached to robotic, legs. right? It, no, but they're hairy, they, it, they're hairy spider legs. Uh, uh, can you put hair on robots, sure, you can. It, I don't you, mind. Yeah, that, that's that's cool with me. Uh, uh, it's also got a trash compactor in it, so as it drills through the trees and turns them into mulch, it throws it into the trash compactor, and it like it's so it's good for the environment, basically, is what I'm saying. Well, it's like quite you, a, quite an invention. Yeah, you drill through the trees, oh. like as you're walking along, it's walking along on those hairy spider legs, drills through the trees and tosses them into the trash compactor to mulch them as it goes through, and then no more problems with with walking living trees. It, I, except for this one problem. Uh, the pilot won't work on weekends. So you got to do it on a Monday. Start on a Monday and then and then you'll be fine. I know it's Friday right now. The trees aren't going to do that much damage over the next two days. Yeah. It, it's it's going to be fine. I'm really going to need you to come in Saturday. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well. I just want to point out. In that case, that you might have to. Kyle said his. What, what Kyle? I was gonna say that you might have to pilot it yourself, <laughs> Eric. I'm already on the hook for dust. I know. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could it wait till Monday. That's the other option. But you could be the hero. Oh wait, I'm helping. <laughs> Seems like a lot of do-it-yourself stuff instead of giving you adventures. Did you have a Maybe Did you have a rebuttal for me, Dustin? You were gonna say something. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, Kyle said that his invention was good for the environment. Uh, but what is an army of living walking trees but the environment? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> it's not gonna do damage to the environment. It's gonna leave. It's gonna leave the forest plenty of, to regrow from. All right. More we gotta. We gotta deal with these trees, trees somehow. If you burn them all up, there's nothing. You mulch them. You know. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So after that, I've got something for you. I've got a cure to what ails you. So we're going to start simple. Nothing crazy. We're going to start with a segue. They go all terrain. A lot of people don't know that. You can get an all terrain segue. I you did not know the that. You can, take it, you can take it in the Where? streets. They're, they're, pretty, they're pretty versatile. One person, it, it's compact. It gets anywhere. It outruns the trees. I imagine trees don't move that fast, but even if they did, the segways go pretty fast themselves. You're already good. This segway is not powered by electricity. It is powered by positive mental energy. Ooh. You feel good. You're you're driving a segway. You're reducing your carbon footprint. You're not you know driving a big car. You know you're out in the sun. It's great. So you're powered it just by using it. 
So in order to take out these trees, I know we've had a lot of people with a lot of different things. Uh, what we are going to do, we're going to take it in a slightly different direction. We are going to leave a trail of toxic gas. We're going to scorch first this forest. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way. Something's wrong with this forest and it needs to be destroyed. Anyone else who wow. says otherwise is lying to you. We're going to destroy everything in this forest. We're just going to nuke the forest, and then that'll be it. We'll replant it in a, in a few decades when we can, when the toxic cloud is obviously left, assuming it hasn't spread to anywhere else. We don't think that that's going to happen. We have had some malfunctions, though, that uh, the, in the inventor's instructions were in Chinese. So... Um, we, so you do have to read it carefully if you don't want to, you know, poison, you know, the water supply and, and thus uh, neighboring towns. Uh, that's all in the instructions. Uh, but there are apps on your phone if you want to translate that. You just take a yeah. picture and it will translate I'm sure it. Google Translate easy. is trustworthy in this situation. Oh, yeah. I think it's a 100%. Seems legit. Use Deeple.com. Okay. It's better. Uh <laughs> are you sponsored? No. <laughs> I just like it. <laughs> but what's okay. it do better? It's got it's got more accurate translations. They're more useful. But here's my discount code just in case. Right. <laughs> I use it when I'm doing script adaptation. Mm. When I get the when I get the, the original, which is not often, but <clears throat> I'm considering. I do think I need to just go. With... I'm gonna give it to Eric. Oh thinking, come on! You're gonna destroy right the thing. environment. Uh, this president. <laughs> he just really like sold me on that scorched earth thing. It's just yeah, like it was just, part of the brief. He 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 built me emotion. He brought me emotionally to that point where I was ready for it. Uh huh. So. Listen, it's us and for them. It's us to scorch the earth. I didn't know it until that moment when he presented it. Didn't know that's you what you wanted. <laughs> yeah. You get to keep the segue. I don't know if that was mentioned. So. Oh, sweet <laughs> bonus. Oops. Now there's more shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gotta, we gotta follow. We did. Dustin, uh, I think it's your up. That's a pick uh, I'm the monster. Yeah, you're you're monstering. What have we got here? All right. So today, you will be tasked with defeating a giant monster made of ears. Oh no! Okay. Oh, thank you. That is disgusting. I would like to hear your pitches, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew, I don't like that. <laughs> That's gross. All right. It well even has a mouth. <laughs> Yeah. While Faye that. is uh, deciding on her her cards. Oh, I have to go first. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to shoot this cannon. Okay. Shit. For a buff. Eric with a K. It's me. Gets buff it's number me. nine. What's that? Let's find out together, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Eric may swap one piece of his next invention with someone else's. It's the same one as Faye. Oh, that one. Got early. Wow. Perfect. Huh? Perfect. And I'm the last oh. player, so that's even better for me. Yeah, so you can see what everybody else has and and deliberately choose a wow. card you're going to replace that that is going to ruin their invention. Okay. This is hard. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 no. Uh, I need to remember what this thing is called. Uh, oh, I remember. Okay, okay. All right, so we're dealing with a bunch of ears, so we must destroy it by sound. So, so I'm gonna take out a futuristic air horn. Okay, it's very Ooh. annoying. Yes, exactly. 
Exactly. <laughs> wow. I like you guys can demo going. it. Uh huh. Uh huh. It is a. Uh, it rides on a goblin who is riding another goblin, which uh, they're also loud and uh, they can fly. I think. You know, <laughs> like goblin riders okay. in Warcraft. Yeah. 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 And then, <laughs> and then, and then uh, it, it has a, a baby ray that shoots babies, which are also loud. So it's How just like it's just come a back sound again machine. Already? <laughs> I don't know, but it's a sound machine. <laughs> but the only issue. Uh, you know, is, is just that it, 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 uh, the invention overheats easily and will shut down when it does. Oh, no. Oh, no. But it reboots fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but when it overheats, it makes a very, very loud blaring sound it will, and, and maybe explode. And then the, the ears will not only be deaf, but also be on fire and die. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll take that back to the boys and uh, we'll see what comes up. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what I have for you today is a jetpack. And the reason why a jetpack is so effective against this monster is like, look, there are ears everywhere on the side, all around, on the top. Um, you're going to need to be able to fly. You're going to need to be able to move quickly if you're going to be affecting every ear on this monster, um, and there's a twin ion engine, so it's just, you can zoom. You can Ooh. zoom real fast. You can get around to each ear hole opening. You can go in the ear holes, out the ear holes, and it can't do anything about that. Um, and then, of course, equipped, you have speakers, oh. which are way too loud. Oh, wow. Right there. You Anything you want, any noise, way too loud, oh, wow. amplified, and you're zooming around, just screaming in its ear. <laughs> speakers that are way too loud. That is a loud invention. That's it's a very, very that's pretty loud perfect invention. for a monster made of ears. Yeah. yeah, we kind of have the same invention, almost. <laughs> kind of, sure. Kind. Of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the problem is uh, that my invention makes the monster grow twice as big. Oh no. Uh, which, which, I, I admit it's a little bit of a problem, but like we have a twin ion engine, which means you can zoom twice as fast. So if it's twice as large, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy. Uh, that was wonderful. <laughs> Definitely wonderful. I'm Quick gonna thinking. start filing some patents um, on a couple of those ideas. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and hear from Kyle now. Sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, 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 let's see here. Uh, so. Here we go. Uh, I, I I know you're you're. I, I appreciate you taking the time here to to listen to my pitch today. I know I know you're getting a lot of great offers from a lot of great people here. But uh, uh, I'm gonna tell you why mine is the best way to deal with this monster that is gigantic and made of nothing but ears. So first off, we're gonna start things off. You're gonna ride around in circles. Uh, well, not you specifically. Just, uh, you know, the pilot. He's going to ride around in circles around this giant monster made of ears on a motorcycle. And that motorcycle, the muffler's all screwed up. So it's like, it's just, it's deafening all those ears. It's not going to like it. It's, uh, it's also powered by static electricity generated by rubbing a whole bunch of balloons. You know that noise the two balloons make when you rub them together? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah we're oh. going to, we're going to really irritate the ears of this monster. So... While, like the, while the ears are all in like irritated by all of that noise that's that's happening uh it's gonna it, we're gonna we got spring-loaded kitchen knives that are gonna shoot out of the motorcycle and they're gonna lop off all those ears and that's uh that's that's how we're gonna deal with this monster it's uh, I honestly I think it's a foolproof plan um uh, uh I know you got a lot of other great ideas to work with here but to, this is this is a pretty good one one small caveat. Uh, my weapon is made of ham. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I like, you know, I give you seven million dollars to come up with an invention, and you come back with that pile of ham. You well, yeah, he kitchen made knives made of ham. It's it's not boneless it's ham. ham. They're still with, sh it's still sharp. It's sir, still gonna it's still gonna do the job. Ham with they're all kitchen knives. Stuck you can in eat it, it afterwards. Yeah, they're all, and, and you yeah you can eat it afterwards, and the monster's gonna. <laughs> Get all, get all, I mean, it doesn't have any noses, so it's not going to know what it smells like, but uh, uh, it's neither here nor there. Semantics. 
<laughs> the All ear right. monster does have a mouth. It has a little, a little mouth with a little drool. Yeah, a little mouth. All right. So, All right. so you've seen yeah. some practical solutions, but what about whimsy? What about whimsy? What if I give what about you whimsy? a giant, giant turtle? Two giants. Sir, you've piqued my interest. Two giants. Okay. You've piqued it, my interest. Giant, giant turtle. So big. So big. Turtle. Wow. So big. And you want more whimsy? Bam. Being carried on the back of an elephant. How big is that elephant? <laughs> Gotta be pretty big to be carrying that giant, giant and turtle. <laughs> now, you may be thinking, how much more whimsy can we get? So much more whimsy, because this thing is also equipped with an explosive vest. We're gonna strap that to the giant, <laughs> giant turtle. It's gonna walk over to that and detonate. It's gonna take out <laughs> that monster and probably significant amount of uh, civilian casualties. Uh, but we're willing to accept those losses. Um, uh, we don't th think that factors into any of our calculations. Unfortunately, um, uh, the uh, invention breaks may go faster instead of slower. So this turtle actually, once it starts picking up speed, doesn't stop until it explodes. So, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a turtle. Like, that's not, like that's just getting that's just getting your, your the explosive deliver faster. It's how right. we like to say. That poor, but the real is the turtle. elephant that gets faster then, because the turtle's in the back of the elephant. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. This is this is definitely giving me something <laughs> to think about. <laughs> All right, the Eric. Uh, hang on, I need to review some cards. Oh, okay. Uh, I, okay. I, 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 I overslept this morning. I'm a little unprepared for this meeting. I'm glad that I, I thank you for letting <laughs> me go last. I know that I was up first earlier, sir, Dustin. Um, what, what I brought today was a, um, um, what, what I got a, I got a great idea here. It's a banana boat. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like those, like those giant things that everybody rides on and, and on vacation, sir. Uh, <laughs> it runs on the relentless power of heavy metal though. This is a pretty sick oh, okay. banana boat. Okay. Say. Um, now I, I, I do, like I said, I overslept and I just really didn't have time to yeah, I brought. A, I only had it was a leather whip. I don't. I didn't know. I panicked. I, I just put a whip on it. Um, <laughs> but I, 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 I think that for for the purposes of today, sir, and after seeing what everybody else was bringing to the table, I think maybe a little collab is worthwhile. And so, you know what? Let, let's just throw throw this banana boat out of here, and let's let's just have a turtle. Let's let's make it a turtle. Let's make it a a giant giant heavy metal turtle. With a whip. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine any downsides, but let's find out if there are. Yeah, what? Yeah. yeah. So, Was there any so anything what? that came up in the production? Well, now that's my BDSM super <laughs> But I also have a super anime paint job, okay? <laughs> I got a guy that does bands. I, I don't see the, na the say, downside here. Him, I saw him do a, a, a bowl of fruit once. It said Van Gogh. Like, like, G -O. like wow. Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah. We all know oh how God. famously how much Van Gogh loved painting fruit. Uh, thank yeah. you for that, Eric. <laughs> I, I appreciated that. I like your right. reference. Don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> We're not Cut gonna off call the <laughs> All right. All right. So I think I've made a decision. Um, uh, you're, thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. We, we, uh, we, we based our decision on, on a bunch of different factors, but I, I believe that uh, the best way to defeat the giant ear monster is going to be with a super loud invention. And I feel like Kaylee got the loudest invention out of everybody. <laughs> Yay! Woo! That means Kaylee wins. True. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Nobody else can win at this point. I like being rewarded Cause Kaylee by got being three. loud. Because in first grade, I just got kicked out of class. But now I'm winning. <laughs> take that, Mrs. Dobring. <laughs> yeah, I can take Mrs. as many Dobring. bathroom breaks as I want to. <laughs> Kaylee wins. Um, Woo! Yay. Yay. Ooh, 
Who who won the bets? Let's who, who find out, yeah. shall we? So, we had uh, we had a fair number of wagers placed. Uh, uh, however, most of them went to Faye. Uh, oh, a, sorry, guys. <laughs> a couple went. To, a couple went to mostly Eric because they've seen this show before. Um, <laughs> but one person bet on Kaylee, what and that person it? is. Ooh. Thank you. Bonnie Canuck! Congratulations, Yay! Bonnie Canuck! Thanks for believing yeah, in me! Bonnie. <laughs> Success! Nice. And you, Bonnie. We love Bonnie! Got 200 points for that. Yeah. Went went Woo! went for the max Good bet ball. on that. Uh and, and congratulations to Kaylee for successfully defeating more monsters than anybody else. You are the banana katana. <laughs> the banana <Yes>. katana. <laughs> The chosen one. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. Banana that was fun. Tainless. Thank you guys for for coming and doing this. That was so and, fun. And putting up with technical us. issues that I've never seen before. That was uh, <laughs> wow. It's always something new here. It sure yeah, is. No, no, Katono. I'm gonna take us back over to the tavern. <laughs> all right. All right. So that was Goodbye, Banana everybody. Katana. Thank you guys so much for for hanging out with us and watching us play and and playing with us, chat. Appreciate you all. Uh, before we go, Faye and Kaylee, we always give everybody a chance to to do their their shout outs for themselves, their their sign offs, like where people oh. can find you and and what you're up to, and you know all of that that good stuff. Uh, so uh, gotcha. why don't we start? We'll go we'll go across f from right to left. We'll start with Kaylee Mills. Hello, what I am you? Kaylee Mills. <laughs> I'll I'll go last. Um. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram at Kaylee Mills, just my name, no spaces, or uh, TikTok. I'm the Donut Gremlin. Uh, I <laughs> post very irregularly and erratically, and uh, that's probably what you're into if you like me anyway. So cool. Uh, yeah, uh, follow me if you like chaos and anime. I guess I do some anime stuff sometimes or whatever. Right. <laughs> mostly donut. It, it is honestly mostly food posts. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Faye, how about you? Oh, okay. Uh, hello, I am Faye, and you can you can hey. follow me on Twitch. I stream as well. Uh, so I'm at twitch.tv slash Faymata. You can see me shitpost on Twitter at twitter.com slash Um, this weekend I am doing a uh, streamily signing event for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, I'm part of the cast in JoJo's Part 4 as Yukiko, and uh, I have lots of prints that you can get from the, the store, and then I sign them live uh, on my Twitch channel. That's literally nice. tomorrow, and uh, yeah, so you could buy one and then interact with me on stream. It's like a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and it's really fun. I have a lot of fun with that. Cool. Uh, and I guess uh, here's my YouTube. I'm trying to build it up lately. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's it! All right. Uh, now for my co-hosts, Dustin Hendrickson. That's me. Hey, uh, so I make board games, and uh, I've got a board game expansion coming out for my first board game, Don't Let It Die, uh, which is an awesome one-to-four-player prehistoric co-op survival game. Uh, but the expansion crowd sale release comes out April 12th. That's this Monday. This is going to be the best time to pick up a copy. You can get the new expansion. You can get a bundle. You can just get the old version. It doesn't matter. We got options. Go there. Check it out. Sale.don'tletitdie.com. And the more people, wow. the, the way that the crowd sale works, the more people who sign up to buy it, the better the price is for everybody who buys it, right? Yes. Everybody who pledges to buy it, it's like a Kickstarter to where you're not charged till the end of the sale, but everybody that pledges to it, the price goes down for everybody once we hit certain milestones. So it's nice. an awesome thing. Super cool. The wow. Eric, you got anything for us? Before before I talk about myself real quick, I just want to say like the, some of the premium items Dustin has given away in this bundle are pretty nifty. Like there's this giant mat that is like it you can it has the whole little village so the whole premise of the game is cavemen there it is yeah he's showing it up it's gonna green screen it's gonna green <laughs> it, screen it is green screening bit. a little bit of it yeah but just a little bit just a little bit but this thing is massive it's a it's a huge mat that you can play on and it shows you where to lay all your cards out and everything it's very cool 
Whoa. And then uh, you know what? You know enough about me. I'm gonna let let Eric talk a little bit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hi everyone. My name's Eric. You can follow me mostly Eric on all the things, including Twitter and Twitch, where I do uh, I stream uh, when I can, when I'm not going to the vet all the time, uh, taking <laughs> care of cats, uh, or they're doing jackhammers <laughs> outside. Uh, but uh, you can also catch me Sundays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Saving Throw Show Twitch channel in uh, New Pantheon Academia, which is our, our anime-inspired tabletop role-playing game that we do over there. So please check that out. Cool, cool. As do for it. this particular channel, uh, the full schedule is in the chat from Pod153. Next broadcast will be tomorrow at noon Pacific Time. Every Saturday I stream games pertaining to my voiceover career. Right now, working my way through Monster Hunter Rise, in which I am the voice of Iori, and my wife, Caitlin Galt, is the voice of Ron Dean. She comes in and says hi every now and then. She doesn't sit for the whole Yay! stream, but it's okay. Uh, That's so cool. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and I think I'm going to play through some near Replicant remake when that comes out. I don't know how I'm going to work that into my schedule. I, uh, we'll see, because uh, that's, that's coming real soon, and I will not be anywhere near finished with Monster Hunter. Uh, uh, this has been The Board and Barrel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I love you all. Thank you again, Faye and Kaylee, for joining us. Really, really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. That was fun. And... So, so fun. That's it. That's it. That's the show. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you Bye. next week. Goodbye. Bye.